But what's going on, guys? Clutch here, and we are on Frontier trying to make $10 million in less than 10 years on our new farm. Well, guys, the old big city farmlands right in the middle of town here. We've sold off everything. We no longer own a single thing here. It's all been sold off. Guys, what can I say? All the Richie McRichardsons out here in the valley, um, I, I kind of don't want to be associated with them, so... I've sold off my little parcel of land since they kind of pushed me out anyways. I've told you 20 times you're not welcome here anymore. And well, I've bought a piece of property over the wall. That's right, we've got some property here over the wall that we're going to be building up a new farm and trying to make things on this side of the wall a little bit more pleasant for, well, everybody. Well, especially me, but everybody else too. So guys, that is our goal, number one to greenify the deserted area of the frontier and make it habitable again. And number two, well, to make $10 million while doing it. I think it could be possible, right? And of course, doing it realistically. All our trash has been packed up. Let's push the dumpster back in. They can deal with that. Close the old gate one last time. And we're out of here. All right, guys. So like I said, we have sold absolutely everything off starting a new pretty much brand spanking new to be honest with you we got rid of everything that uh, that farm came with and well we're starting with all well new to me equipment that i thought would maybe a little bit better suited that train is loud that train is loud actually you know what that train's gonna come in hopefully handy to us you no know, it feels weird to be leaving the big city behind and going out to really the middle of nowhere um we're kind of outcasts let's go with that it's, it's it feels like we're becoming outcasts out here the, the fields, I mean, this is... Look at the size of this farm. After struggling for years, this is all you get. These two little fields here in town. No, no, no. We're going to... We want we want to make sure that we're... We make something of ourselves. And why is my tire not on the ground? Um, I think the stabilizer bar might be broken on this truck. What is going on? There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this thing looked at. All right. You guys don't have anything illegal, right? No, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. Perfect. Let's get through the gate. And we'll... You know what? The, the farm isn't too far from here, at least, so... If the zombie apocalypse does come, we're, we're not too far away, I guess. Oh, boy. There we go. Let's head out to the farm. Yeah, there's there's not much out here, but like an old trucking route, basically, isn't it? That's um pretty desolate out here, guys. But that's where our new farm comes in. You can see, well, we've taken over an old shack right here. And it's right on the train line. So hopefully we can maybe use that at some point. I really have no idea. But that's kind of the, the master plan. Now, I've had all the equipment brought out already. We are ready to get out here. Look at this. Look at this farm. Well, it's, it's not much to look at yet. Oh man, am I ever gonna need a pressure washer out here? Seriously, it's so dusty. But of course, yeah, the old truck we've got, of course. Uh, an old Ford, it is the, oh boy, I can't even remember model number. This we've got used as well. It does have a front loader on it so we can, well, move some bales around, which is going to come in handy. But yeah, real nice old Ford. What model is this one? It's a 70, it's like 8210, I thought it was 7210, 8210. Four wheel drive at around 175 horsepower, 174 horsepower, I believe. So it is definitely um, a capable tractor. And um, we're going to need to all 74 or 174 horses that this thing can deliver. Let's go with that. I mean, you can see beside it, we have a fairly good size uh, a disc cultivator here as well. That's going to help us hopefully till up some of this land and find something fertile underneath. I'm really hoping. An old rake beside as well. An old frontier lake. Rake. Frontier lake. Frontier rake. Oh, we need a lake. Sorry, sorry, goldfish. Goldfish syndrome over here, I'm sorry. Also managed to find an old Chevy uh, Chevy grain truck as well. Um, it's seen better days, but you know what? Whatever for, I think it was all of like $12,000. Not bad. And um, the we got a New Holland baler, which will come in pretty handy because you guys know where I'm going, right? And our most expensive piece of equipment actually is this Challenger, uh, the the Swather, the uh, self-propelled Swather, the self-propelled Morier. This thing, the Swather was our most expensive piece of equipment. I can't remember what it cost us, but yeah, this was by far the most expensive piece. I mean, it even cost more than our planting unit here, guys. This was actually relatively inexpensive. I'm a little concerned that the Ford can't pull it. We'll see. This is a pretty big unit for the all that Ford. We'll see how she does. Now, of course, you've seen the house. We do have a little garage off to the side. Um, electrical system on the side there as well. And then in the back, guys, we have a warehouse on this piece of property. It was from the train system here, the, uh, the railroad system. They have a warehouse here that is now ours that we can store things in, which is kind of handy. We'll see how much use we get out of this. So there's our equipment and kind of main farm area. Um, unfortunately, we do not have any any pump jacks on our property i'd love to get some oil 
I mean, we could make some money with that, but they're all across the road and across the tracks, so not for nothing here for me. But we do have a sizable chunk of land that we own, kind of all the way to the wall and all the way to the wall. That's kind of our field lands. I believe we're sitting on around 32 acres, I want to say, somewhere around that range. So, I mean, it's a it's a chunk, sizable chunk of land compared to the 0.7 acres we had in town. We'll be able to do something a lot more substantial with this, but we got to till this up first, guys. I mean, look at look at the soil. This is brutal. This looks as unfertile as unfertile gets. So you know what that means? Let's fire the Ford up. We're going to get the disc connected to it, and we're going to see how this equipment runs for us. Hopefully, we can get this all disced up, and uh, maybe we can get to planting, and maybe even get a cut off this all before the end of the year. First time, fire it up. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, this is a great tractor, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's pull this thing around. Back around up to the uh, the rake. Or the rake. The the, the disc. Uh, yeah, Clutch knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? Totally. Um, connect one. Connect two. Let's go. All right. So we're going to follow down the side of the tracks here. All, this, all the way to the corner. This is all our property. Basically to the farm here for the most part. I think we do own a little bit more past. Oh, heads up, guys. Train coming. Um, I can't ever see us having an issue by the train, right? That's not going to be a problem for us ever. No, never. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's drop that on down. All right, away we go. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Okay, then Ford, Ford handles this without an issue, to be perfectly honest. Let's just gator back a little bit. I don't want to blow anything on this. And, all right. Perfect. All right, so we'll see how the soil looks after we kind of, um, well till it up a little bit here I, I, i'm curious to see how well it's going to work out i mean the soil has been untouched for years of course and um you know we're on the outside of the wall guys like i said i want to see if i can green this place up completely how much how much of this valley can we turn back into arable farmland I, I have no idea oh boy it's a little rough over here let's just try and keep this keep this out of the out of the train swath or whatever this dirt stuff is on the side here all right, and then I'm wrapping around. Oh boy, yeah. Oh no, it's rough in here. You know what, as soon as we clean this up though. Guys, this is a problem. Look at this, look at the dirt in here. This is brutal. All right, let's lift this up and we'll see if we can back it up and around. Okay guys, I am I am determined to kind of like, see if I can get rid of all this, whatever this dirt is that's on the side here. Let's see if we can kind of just clean it all out, all right? Drop it down, let's go. Come on Ford, go. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, it's got it. 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 It can do it. It can do it. It can do it. I got, I got faith. No, it can't do it. It can't do it. <laughs> We're going to have to reset. All right. So if we take like little chunks of it off at a time here, I think maybe that'll that'll be the solution to try to, <laughs> to till it all up. I don't know. Um, I could probably get a fr the, the bucket onto the front of this and maybe move it that way. That might be an option. But yeah, it's it's not liking this. Uh, we need like a cat, like a, like a caterpillar or something, like a just a bulldozer or something, almost to push this all out of the way. Yeah, it's not tilling it up very nice, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to write, see if I can figure another solution for that. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about it for now, guys. Ah, that's too bad. I thought maybe I could cut through it. It's just a little bit too firm. <laughs> I made it right down by the wall. Uh, I was hoping that all this extra dirt and gravel crap that we gotta deal with here, rabble, is uh. It wouldn't be down here, but look, it's all it's all bunched up against the wall, too. I mean, I can get an extra swath out of that if I come by and clean this all up at some point. For now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Yeah. Um, I really don't feel like fighting with it for now, guys. That seems like... Yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We, we gotta, it's, you know what, for the equipment we're running, we got enough field, I think. All right, so after everything, the whole transition over out into this... Um, I don't even want to know what we want to call this farm. I'm, this, the, I don't know, the, the Frontier Farm? The Outcast Farm? I don't even know. But anyways, it we've got about $20,000 left in the old bank account right now. For, um, well, incidentals, I guess? Stuff that we didn't foresee that we might need. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how far we can go with that twenty grand. Hoping we can get this replant now. Obviously, we don't have any trees or anything we can really cut. Not a lot of contracts that um, we're really eligible for out here. There's not much contract work out on the other side of the wall so we're really kind of stuck with what we've got here on the farm guys it's um it's gonna be a tough go for a little bit here while we well hopefully 
are able to make some bales and make some money off some of the stuff we do here. Of course, you, you saw the equipment that we're running. Grass is going to be planted. We're going to be doing some hand is really what it starts off with. I do need to tether, of course, still. But that's going to be what we're going forward with. Maybe we'll do silage instead. That might be the better bet. I don't know yet. We'll see what we can find. I haven't bought a tether. I haven't bought a silage bale wrapper or anything like that. Or a, a silage pit could be another option. We do like our bales, though. You guys know that. One thing is for sure, though, the, that's the Frontier map. And it's going to be awfully difficult to get things up and rolling. So um, if you're new around the channel, well, thanks for subscribing. Cheers to you guys. Welcome in new subs. Um, you guys are awesome. Cheers to you guys. If you haven't done so already, maybe go down to the bottom, click that big subscribe button, and um, maybe next time we're out here in the middle of the desert on the other side of the wall, we'll see your name down there. Yeah, you never know. Anyways, let's um, zip this around. I've got a little bit of... Oh boy, she's rough. We've got to clean that up somehow. Um, we've got a, a lot of tilling still to do today. It is August. We should be able to get her done today, and hopefully, hopefully, we can get this planted and... Uh, Get her prepped, maybe, sooner than later. We'll see. All right, last couple... Well, the last pass, looks like. I thought I'd have to do two. Got it all in the last one here. Nice. So, this is the main field. Now, I do have a little bit of space, kind of, well, closer to the wall over there on the left. We'll see how we make do, guys. This is... Well, this is just step one. This is just step one. Now, I technically have this land on the other side of the tracks here, between the road and the tracks as well. I gotta find a way to clean this up first. Once we clean that up, then we'll turn that into field as well. well. You know what? We're gonna maximize everything we possibly can here. But first, we gotta get across the road over to the far side here. Let me see if we can just kind of bounce across. Yeah, we got this spot right here I need to turn into a field as well. So step one, guys, is create new fields. We're going to be seeing how much we can do with this. Like I said, we need to really, um, really find a way to make this work. I wanna try and make everything, well, bring it back to life, essentially. Take it all back. Bring it all green. Make it all fields. Well, maybe darker brown and green, I guess. I don't know. But it's going to be a bit of a struggle out here. These are not. This is not great land, let's be honest. All right. So that's going to about do it for this. Um, I guess we've got some fields, guys. It's, um, I guess it's better than nothing. Man, it's so bleak out here. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's definitely bleak. It's not looking great. It just feels like there is nothing out here but dirt and sand and a little bit of mud here and there. It's just it's just not a nice place to work right now. I want to make this nicer. That's going to be our goal as well, is just to make this overall just some lush fields out here because it just feels so desolate. That's uh, goal stage one, plan one, finished. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! We've got some fields done. I do need to, of course, make some work on this, but we'll get there, we'll get there, guys. We're on our way of making our, our $10 million. Alright, disconnect this guy. Perfect. Alright, we'll leave that there. Um, it's not on the tracks, is it? No, train can get by. Alright, we'll put the tractor away. We need to go pick up some seed fertilizer, and, uh, yeah, because I don't have any of that. I've got 20 grand to get through to that right now. Hopefully that's enough to get us through. We're not going to be doing any liming, so we're going to have to hope that this 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 field is in good enough shape for what we need it for now. I don't have a choice here, guys. It's, um, I don't have any way to spray the lime yet. We'll see if we can get to that at some point. But for now, the Ford can stay right here. So let's go see if we can make a couple trips. We've got, of course, head back across the wall, guys, to... um. Oh, this old truck. We gotta go make a couple trips across the wall to go pick up some for, for fertilizer seed. You guys, you guys know the drill. Who put this the planter or the cedar right there? Not a good spot for that. Anyways, let's head back across and uh, hopefully they don't give us any problems at the border with this because I'm gonna fill this truck up a couple of times. All right, no trains. Let's go. Well, they're letting me back in. It's just traffic is completely backed up right now. What is going on here? Come on. Come on! You know what? Living out in the middle of nowhere might not be so bad. No more traffic anymore. That'd be nice. This place is always so busy, it seems like. Well, not right now, but sometimes. All right, let's uh, skedaddle down the wall here all the way over. Go buy some... Let's start with some seed. All right, almost there. Just got to get out here and with the hillbillies out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, man, this truck needs some, some suspension. It, it's a little rough. <laughs> uh, come on, get up the hill. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this truck needs some suspension, guys. This is not going to be a fun trip to make a thousand times. You know what I say, though? Whenever, uh, 
Whenever you're faced with a problem in a vehicle, the answer or solution is always more speed and more power. Power! We need more power! How fast can we get this thing going? Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. See? It smooths right out. It smooths right out. All right, so... Oh, you guys got the gates closed? What's going on here? Gotta do everything around here. Leave the gate. Why would you have your gates closed? Let me go buy some seed from you here. Come on. Let's go. Um, all right. So I, I spent a little bit more. I spent all my money on seed, guys. Yeah, all of it. Whoops. All right, so I had planned to get fertilizer, like you guys know. We're going to have to live without I, I, I misguided, judged, misguided, misjudged, whatever. It didn't work out for me. We're going to just do seed. Um, it is what it is. Let's hook up to, uh, let's go hook up to the cedar here and let's see if we can, we can do a little bit of planting. Get our first plant done here. You know what? In the grand scheme, it'll be, it'll be good because I don't need to buy seed anymore since we are doing, like I said, we're doing hay. Um... Would have been nice not to waste all my money on it because I'm probably not going to need it all, or maybe I will. I don't even know. It's, it's a good sized field. Hopefully, I don't need more than the 9,000. Um, we'll see. Oh, well, a little, little bit of a mistake on the fertilizer. You know what? It'll be fine. We'll get a planted next next time. We'll, 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 we'll find a way to make it work next time, you guys. Next time, next time. I was afraid this was going to happen. Um, where have I seen this before? Hey, guys, I already learned something new in real life farming. Apparently, you're supposed to put the auger underneath before you open up the door. Whoops. Anyways, um, kind of an issue. It, yeah, the auger doesn't like to load. I'm gonna, I got a plan, I got a plan, I got a plan. We're just gonna load the seed into the warehouse. We'll bag it up and we'll bring the bags out of seed instead. Yeah, I don't know what it is with, uh, with that, but, uh, that's been an issue in the past as well. So we'll just dump her into the warehouse and then just have the bags brought right on out and then, well, go over to the Ford. Oh, uh, see if we can pick up these bags without dropping them. And, um,. Yeah, we can load it this way. Uh, it's not uh, I ideal. Oh, but it could be worse, right? And it makes a lot less mess, too, really. I mean, um, at least it works. Not ideal, but better than the alternative, I guess. All right, I'm going to load as many, many of these as I can get in there. I bet you I should be able to fit most of them in. And we'll get to planting here right away. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, and, and look at this. We actually have a little bit left of a bag. Um, I didn't spill any more, I promise. It's not... For just ignore that. I didn't. It's not for me. I didn't spill that. I didn't spill anymore. All right, let's get into this field, guys. I'm feeling like the old horsepower is going to be a little in the lacking department here. Uh, just even pulling forward here, I, uh, I have my doubts. Just to say the least, I'm having my doubts. Let's see if we can spin this thing around and uh, drop this in. But man, it's it is gonna be a struggle. This little Ford. Well, it does have almost 200 horsepower. It just doesn't feel like it could handle this. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this case handles behind it. All right. Drop her in. Turn that on. Oh, 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 hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Why do I feel like we're not connected here? Yeah, everything's connected. Should be firing up. That's weird. Oh, uh, that that usually helps. I got the hydraulics connected. I didn't. Uh, I didn't pick. A, I didn't connect the seeds to it. So, um, my bad. My bad. All right. Now we should be able to. Fire it out. There we go. That sounds better, doesn't it? All right, let's go. Drop that down. Come on, grab, grab for me. Oh, the struggle is real. All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. Seeds are coming out. That's that's okay. All right, all right. We got we're planting grass, guys. We're planting hay. Finally. Um, like I said, this is this is a bit much for this little tractor, uh, to say the least. But it does work, and I'm gonna go with it for now. It is not the greatest. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. It's definitely not great. Oh man, come on, baby. I'm giving it everything we got, absolutely everything, and it's struggling. I'm shifting down. You can see. You know what? It is what it is, guys. It, it'll it'll get us through this, but it's just not great, is it? Hey, looks on the on the bright side. It looks like we're gonna have more than enough seed. Just judging right now. Just saying.
guys. So we finished off that main field. We're on the um the wall. I don't know. They're both wall fields. Whatever. I, I don't know what to call this. It's it's okay. We're getting expected yield to sixty four percent. Like I said, we. It's going to take some time for us to, you know, to, to get this soil into a position where we're maximizing yield, of course. It's going to take some work, and I've got, like, all this soot and grime and dust on the sides here. I need to get rid of all this eventually as well. I just don't have the tools for it yet. For the, the amount that we need to get rid of is quite a bit, so that's something we're going to worry about as well. But hey, stage one, replanting. We're almost done. You know what? The, the old Ford is, um, well, it's doing it. It's it's not easy. Here, let's just jump in and take a look. All right, let's uh, turn on the uh, the cedar. There we go. A little bit of back up, just a touch here, and go forward. Come on, baby, and drop. There she goes. And um, yeah, if I can get four or five miles an hour, it seems to be a lot of the average right now. Especially once we start getting in off of what we tilled up, it has a real struggle getting that toolbar through any of that grime that that dust stuff on the side there it's built up it does not like it i'm sure it's not planting all that well over there either but we're, we're doing our best here guys so yeah let me finish off this field <laughs> look at this it's just bouncing on the way through uh let me get through this this field it'll take us uh, not too much longer we'll do a couple of passes here it'll be done at least on the bright side guys on the bright side like even though this is a struggle and the struggle is 100 for real right now we only have to do this the once for now at least right like i don't need to plant this ever again theoretically so we get this hay field done and it's from here on in it's it's kind of easy in that from that sense now i still need to fertilize i need the lime i gotta do all that fun stuff but as far as pulling this big well seeding unit around um you know what i should be good all right last pass is happening i got a bit of an issue though this is all i got to do now I mean, I could try to find some extra work someplace. I am dead broke. I mean, we don't owe any money at least, but we are completely broke for now. I got enough seed to last for a while, and at least I don't need to pay for fertilizer or lime quite yet. Guys, it's, we'll see how the growth is, but um, I'm stuck for now, guys. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't have any money to do anything else this year. So let's wait and see how the old uh, the yield is on this, this crop. And I'll see you guys once. Hopefully, we can harvest before winter comes. Fingers crossed. See you guys in a bit. Well, look at this. Uh, fall is here, and our first crop is ready to be harvested. Not bad. Look at this hay field. You know what? It's a, it's amazing. A little greenery changes your whole aspect on everything. We even got a little bit of rain the other day, so um, eh, there's a little bit of condensation kind of puddling in the middle. You can kind of see right there. No money into the farm yet. Hopefully, soon, we can start investing in... Uh, a few new things like well just some ways of working on these fields a bit more so we can get a bit better yield but for today let's just get the hay bind out there and do a bit of work I'm, I'm telling you though doesn't this completely change the way this field this farm looks already just by having a field built on the one side of it it's a lot of it's a lot of hayland i know but man this is so much better right off the bat so let's jump into the hay bind let's get to work challenger let's go fire on up all right like I said, this was our most expensive piece of equipment, guys. Um, it's been sitting out here getting dirty the whole time, but by far the most expensive piece of equipment we had to buy. I, I really, I hope this works as well as it should, but you never know. We might run into problems. I don't think we will. I think this will be great. So let's bounce on into this field and uh, let's start cutting some hay down here. We'll do, uh, let's do some headlands and then we'll go back and forth from there. We got the rake as well we can use, so at least there's that. All right, let's set this on up, fire it on up. Uh, there we go, maybe? Oh, you know what? We're... I didn't connect the hoses. I didn't connect the hoses! Can't forget that. There we go. Got the hydraulics connected. Let's try this again. Alright, now turn on now. <laughs> there there we go. See? I know what I'm doing. Really, I do. Alright, into the field we go. Drop that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And, um... Away we go. Alright. Perfect. Alright, guys. Um... To say we have a lot of work to do would be a understatement. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we make do here, but it's going to take us, uh, eh, you know, a little bit of time to cut through all this, and then uh, we'll see if we can bail this up, maybe. We'll give it a rake, maybe bail it up, and see if we can make some money and get out of debt, as you can see. Guys, I've, I've already I've gone into debt already. Of course, we've had to pay for taxes and land fees and electricity. You, you know, You know what it is. It's taken us two months to get to this point. 
I have been not spending money on anything else, so this is where we're at. Well, we'll see where we make do later on, though. Um, things are coming up good right now. Just, I would like to, to push this a bit further. Hopefully we can make a bit more money and then worry about optimizing our land with lime and fertilizer, right? That's what we got to start with. So, we got through this. We'll see you guys once we're ready to rake it all up. Let's go. We're just finishing up the field finally. It's a lot of hay. You know what? The yield looks decent. I'm actually um, pleasantly surprised with what looks like we're getting for this. I mean, I'm not going to bother raking this. I think I'm just going to bring the baler by and we'll start doing this. But before we do that, we're going to head over to that far, far, far side and go do that one. There's a small field there to go take care of first. Let's go. All right. That one was a little quicker. Just wrapping up finally. Our first harvest is officially done. Um, we just got to bale this all up now. And See, I, I got a, a bit of a problem. Like I said, we're broke, so I, I don't have any equipment to pick up the bales, really, other than pickup truck. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. That's definitely going to be fun. Let's head back and see if we can bail this stuff up, and we'll figure out something there. All right, um, I might do a little bit of service to the Challenger afterwards, but it looks like it did the job. It's a big field to handle. We'll get the Ford out here, and we're going to bail this up with this old New Holland baler as well. Let's uh, let's dive in. We got the front forks off of this as, as well, so um, we'll put those back on later when we need to bail. But when we're doing this much bailing, I just don't want anything on the front. I want it uh, kind of clean up there so we can kind of see what we're doing, right? Yeah, we got a, we got a bit of work to do here. Look at the size of the field. You know what? The, the yield looks good. The yield looks really good. We'll need to add a roll of net wrap into the new Holland as well. We can always forget about that. There we go. Looks like she's going in. All right, guys, I think uh, we should be good. I think, we should, I think we're good. Looks like it's loaded. All right, let's get going. All right, finally into the field. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, we'll set that up. Uh, nine's a little fast. Let's slow down just a touch there. There we go. All right, so we've got um, a little bit to go, at least, just to say the least. Uh, uh, that's already our first bail. It's already our first bail, you guys. That's um, interesting. That is very interesting. We're going to be making a ton of bales off this if that's already our first one. I, I don't even know what to say about that, to be perfectly honest. The yield's actually surprisingly good. Um, <laughs> how far did we make it there? Are you, are you serious right now? That's crazy. Okay. Well, um, I've got a couple thousand bales to make, it looks like. Uh, yikes. Yeah, that's a lot. So we'll go from here and uh, we'll see how many we end up making, but it looks like we've got just just a few. Is that going to unload? What are you doing? You, you're good, you're good. You can go. You can go. Yeah, there we go. Drop that down. Thank you. Anyways, we've got a couple thousand bales to make. I'll, I'll, I'll work on this for a bit. This is going to take me the rest of the day at the rate we're going here. Our first two bales have popped out, but um, yeah, that's, a, that's another one. All right, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we are roughly 140 bales made. Um, I'm out of net wrap almost, guys. I'm down to the last, the nitty gritty here on the old net wrap. Let's see, I can wrap maybe, what, two or three more bales and that should be about it. I still got <laughs> quite a few more to make. All right, looks like we're down to, what, our last bale? Room for one more. That's it, close that up. 
this is the last bit of wrap i'm gonna have to head back over to the farm and um pick up another roll it looks like so 142 bales i believe we've made 142 per for one roll interesting i didn't know how much it would do but there goes the end of our wrap right here this is gonna do it guys well maybe not i thought it was more than that okay maybe can i do one more 29 meters no that's it <laughs> i was gonna say there's no way that doesn't make any sense all right let's head back and fill it back on up all right we got lots of wrap left we'll get through this harvest no problem with the wrap we've got but um obviously um yeah we're going through a little bit more than i thought i thought we'd be able to get through the whole thing with without doing that but anyways we'll fill it back up and uh, we'll get back on out there yeah thirty-eight thousand meters of it left over we got more than enough i think or at least we better all right back to work let's get her done let's go all right guys coming up to the end finally uh we're at like 385 bales um yep just a few bales out there you guys just a few 380 we're on the third row uh third roll of netting as well just so you know we've gone through quite a bit of, of bale netting. now i still have the small field against the far wall over there we got to go do so oh boy this is, uh, should pay for itself at least right like 300 some bales should be a pretty should make a piece of money off this hopefully all right pushing up to 400 bales off our first harvest um guys that's a, that's a, that's a little bit of bales it's a little bit of bales right off the bat here um yeah it's definitely going to help fund our future endeavors so this is all good right this is all good things i mean it's just oh this has taken me all day you guys see it's three o'clock we've been doing this this for all day all day the old ford the old girl's been running good though so i'm gonna finish this off i'll see you guys we'll see what our final tally is here in a couple seconds well maybe about five minutes because uh i gotta go back and forth a few more times still guys this is good this is i'm, I'm happy just it's a lot of work <laughs> i ran out of netting again um we still got a, a few more bales to grab guys we're over like 420 bales right now but um we're trying to load this thing back on up with more more netting look up like we used a few already i i'm, I'm kind of surprised how much netting we've gone through um i guess like 400 and, like what 30 bales we're gonna have I, I guess what do you expect really right it's a lot of bales so anyways we're gonna go finish this off i got i bet you three more left all right that's gonna be our last full bale it looks like i think that's all i'm gonna get 428 i think the count is so i did actually have to take out a small loan because i kind of screwed up guys i didn't um it's funny i was complaining about the netting yeah I, I didn't account for the fact i needed to buy netting today and uh yeah so anyways we had to take out a small loan which kind of got us through today to be honest with you oh that's rough that's rough um anyways it got it through us today and, and we'll, we'll get we'll we'll still need to find a way to make a bit more money here now i need to move these bales off this land of course uh yeah i don't really have a great solution for that right now we have nothing i'm gonna have to i need some kind of i, I need a pickup trailer of some sort some loading trailer i am not picking these all up by forks that will be a nightmare to pick up 400 bales just with the front loader on this thing so that's not going to be what we do we're going to get some kind of a some kind of a lo an auto loading trailer of sorts I don't know what it's going to be quite yet. Let's start off by just trying to make a little bit of cash back. Now, it's not the best time of year yet to sell the bales off. They're just grass bales. We have a poor yield. But still, we got 429, 28 bales. We should make some money back, right? So let's connect to our bale forks up here. And um, stop right there. Let's see if we can get this connected back in. Perfect. All right. Let's see if we can get it onto, like, maybe the truck. I think I'll, I'll just use the old yeah we'll just use the pickup truck for now yeah that's that'll be fine all right guys let's get this thing loaded up i got the the, the pickup there i'm just gonna throw a couple bales in just to see if we can kind of well how many bales is it gonna take to kind of mitigate our debt for the next couple months i just checked um i just checked our forecast prices on on grass like i said this is just grass this isn't hay so it, it's not great in that sense right like i'd prefer to have hay of course but we're, we're working with what we got right now next cut maybe we can look at that but well, that's, we'll figure things out first. Let's see if we can just get a couple bales. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that truck. Can I get two bales in here? <laughs> Please tell me I can get two. You know what? I should have put them sideways. Uh, you know what? Whatever. We can we can make this work. We can just kind of just kind of finagle this in. There, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Kind of, kind of good. Yeah, it's good enough. Sure. Let's see if we can get a second bale in this thing. 
sell two off at a time and see how many I can, much money I can get for two bales. I don't think it's going to be great. Let's be perfectly honest, but whatever. As long as I'm not in debt, that's what we're going for now. Staying out of debt, guys. Staying out of debt. The old Ford's running pretty good, though. I mean, this is um, this has been a pretty a bit of a gem to to start with. I'm not going to lie. To, for our first tractor on this farm, not not too bad. It's done pretty darn well. Uh, I should have opened. I wish I could open the tailgate on this thing. Okay, let's just see if we can. Can I, can I just stack it on top? Just stay there. Yeah, yeah stay right there. See. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's throw some, let's throw some straps down on this thing. Here, we'll shut the Ford off for now. Um, yeah, totally fine. Oh, it says totally fine. Yep, we're good. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Oh, uh, hammer down. Let's go. Oh, can we jump on the over the tracks? No train, right? No train. Good. No train. No train. No train. They're not gonna bother me too much when I'm going through the border, are they? Really? All right, guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're not. We're not doing anything wrong, just let us through. Just a couple bales, start up really normally on a truck. Everyone does this, right? Everybody does this. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, just take her easy. Seatbelts are on. We're okay. Yeah, just let us through, coming through, coming through. All good. Lights, nothing, nothing broken on a truck. Truck's in good shape. Yep, yep. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Let us through right away. All right, good, good, good. Let's go solo up these bales. Guys, this has been... I, I, I took the rough road again to get back to the old Allen animal dealership here. It was not... Um, it was not pleasant. At least I got suspension in this truck. Oh, once again, we're opening gates. No one likes to open gates around here. But, uh, alright, we made it. We made it. It was, it was... What the? What, what, what is this? Alright, we got tunes playing here, I guess. I didn't do it. Um, we got outdoor tunes up here? Alright, man. Um, it caught me off guard a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was wondering... I thought someone was chirping in my ear there for a second all right let's sell all these bales off and see if we can make a little bit of cash shall we oh boy back her on in um there we go i was gonna say that's um all right so a, th a th thousand bucks a little over i mean it's a thousand bucks guys huh all right why well, i didn't expect to get much more than that let's be perfectly honest it's grass bales so you get what you get. Um, yeah, it's not like a silage. It's it's not even hay. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Let's head back to the farm. I'm going to do a couple loads of these and just see if I can get a little bit more money. I got to go make some phone calls and see how much it's going to be for the trailer. Or a trailer I wouldn't mind picking up. All right, let's go. Hammer down. Back on the old dirt road. Oh, boy, hang on. Well, guys, we've um, we've come, a solution to, come up with a solution to pick up our bales. I've been working through the night a little bit here this early this morning. This is what we got so far. I don't even know how many bales are here anymore. We sold off a bunch here. Let me grab the truck and I'll show you the trailer we got. Sorry, by truck I, I meant tractor. Uh, yes, we've got we've got a trailer holds 28 bales on this bad boy, which is good for amount amount at least. Um, I think I can. It does have a pin hitch back here. Yeah, we've got a pin hitch so I can connect another trailer to it hopefully at some point. So I sold off about twenty six thousand dollars, a little bit more than that. Where the bales. Paid off our loan, bought the trailer, and uh, we're even Steven again. But, I mean, we don't have a huge amount of cash flow. That being said, guys, January is the best, best month to sell our grass bales. In January. So, next month, we'll be able to uh, make some little extra bank with selling these all off. I don't know how I'm going to sell it yet. I, I've been thinking of different ways of moving all these bales. Let's see. There we go. We've got 400-ish bales to move. 400-ish bales to move. Yeah, um, we could use the train. The train might be one of the best ways, but there's a bit of a problem with that as well. And I think that's fairly obvious. I mean, yeah, we can load it fairly easily right here. Uh, they can build a flat deck right up beside where I'm storing all these bales. But then I've got to unload them when I get to the destination. Not ideal. Not ideal right now. So I think that may be out. We'll maybe just load it and we're transporting ourselves. That's a lot of bales, though. All right, we're on the last of the bales right now. This is uh, the last last trailer. I'm not even gonna dump these off. Let's take you back over to the farm. All right, bales are all off. Look at um. Well, you can't even see how deep this is. Look at this. Hang on a second. Let's. <laughs> how many bales are here? I can't even jump up. They're too hot. There's two of them stacked. I don't even know how many deep. There goes the train, by the way. Um, guys, it's a lot of. It's like 400 bales. We got 400 bales there. I don't have a storage solution for bales yet. Whatever, we'll sell these off to next month here come January and um, 
Time to profit, I guess. You know what? I think we're going to succeed in our goals, well, so far at least, of, for, well, first of all, like, greening up the valley. I mean, taking care of this old desolate land. But also, I think we're turning a profit already. Not, not bad. Uh, that's decent. That's decent. All right, let's sell these off next month. Oh, it's actually coming together. All right, guys, welcome back in. Prepping for our first load in right now. First load going to the animals. Animal dealer, um, they're looking for some bales, so I'm going to feed it to them. <laughs> we need 28 bales on this trailer is what I need. Straighten that out. Give me 28, please. I need 28. Uh, I'm not even close. Let me, let me get closer. There, that's better. All right, spin this thing around the uh, warehouse. Heading back to the city. Let's go sell these bales off. So I'm sure by the end of today, I'm going to need fuel in this tractor as well. We'll have to make a dozen, a dozen loads, I guess would be ish a dozen loads ish to uh to the cell point it is what it is um it's got to be done so we're gonna be we're gonna be tractoring a lot of stuff for now this will be something we have to upgrade of course uh, sooner than later but i've got a plan for things we got to talk about how we're gonna upgrade things here and what how that's all gonna come together i have to admit it is nice to see all the greenery here after you've been out in the uh, the badlands for so long and it's just nice to see everything green again. Um, so here is actually where we're going to be selling off our, our crops to for now. The, the, the thing is, oh boy, this is going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough turnaround here. Let me spin this thing around though, getting hit by a train. Um, so I thought about taking the train, like I said, out here. Oh, 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 train's coming, train's coming, train's coming. No, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> just got the forks. <laughs> Seriously, this is like the worst entrance into a farm ever, isn't it? Um, like I said, I thought about taking the train, but I've got to find a way to unload the train. And it's not exactly like I'd have to get a telehandler or something over here, maybe. It would not be easy. So that's something we have to wait for, at least. Um, yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll play it by ear, guys. We'll play it by ear. See if we can get rid of some of these bales. Perfect. So that's something that'll be on the, uh, the docket for... The time soon enough. We'll see. We'll see. I think that'll be a little bit easier to get rid of 400 bales, won't it? Maybe? What do you guys think? I don't know. All right. So roughly, what is that? About $15,000 for a trailer full. I'm going to make a dozen. Like, you look at about $200,000 we're going to make off this. That's reasonable. So, like I said, guys, we got to find a way to, to bring our bales over here, whether it be by train or by truck. I don't know yet. Uh, we're going to truck this all over with a tractor for the time being. But I've got money now, I can fuel up my tractor again, and uh, we can move on from here. So, you know what? It's, it's Things are happening. It's good. It's all good things. All right, last, uh, probably the last trip I'll make for a bit here. We probably have, I don't know, maybe eight bales left still sitting there. I couldn't dig them all. But I'm going to go fill this thing up with fuel right afterwards, and we'll go from there. Uh, let's just back this in. Find a little bit better of a solution to uh, get the bales in. This, this works a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about getting hit by a certain train this time. Um, but yeah, so things are looking decent guys we're i mean financially we're okay for now but i do need to buy some equipment now because well we're oh boy we're, we're sitting in a spot now where we can actually afford to do it and you guys know what my goals are right like we need to we need to make this valley better we need to make money that's that's our goals that's pretty simple there we go look at that see back just back it in nice clutch that's it put the bales in nice and easy come on back them in there you go come on back them in back them in back them in back them in boom all right, perfect. Look at that. Got rid of all the bales. Uh, 215,000, probably 220,000 bucks we got right now, which is great. So we'll be able to make some decent uh, headway now. All right, let's head back to the farm. I got to fill this thing up with fuel. Actually, no, we'll fill with fuel first. Not this time, train. Not this time. All right, we'll refill this full of fuel and uh, head back out to the farm. <laughs> Man. Um, been a rough year on the Ford already. I should probably repair that. See, it's damaged already. We should probably get some repairing going on. Let's get back to the farm. All right, guys. So you know what our goal is here, right? You remember our goal? We want to, well, make some profit, of course. $10 million. And, of course, realistically, is possible. Um, and then, of course, we want to greenify the whole plains. We take back the plains, if you will. Now, we made 128 bales. 128 bales is what we ended up with of grass bales just a minute ago. Well, just this month. This is what we sold off. We need to try to find a way to maximize that. And like I said, we have not really worked the soil that hard. Soil is looking kind of rough. There's definitely room for improvement. So I've already gone and purchased. You can see we've already spent $100,000. And, um, well, we've, we've made a, a slight purchase. Yeah, that's right. We got the big Bridal. 
Um, I'm trying to find the, the biggest spreader I could possibly get since we're going to be doing so much lime, so much fertilizing. Uh, that's really the, kind of the goal there. So I'm heading out. I'm going to go pick up um, a trailer full of lime right now. We'll probably start using the truck to ship the lime because I can store lime in the warehouse. We can store fertilizer in the warehouse as well. But just for now, I had it. We're going out that way. Whatever. We'll go there and, and see what happens. I can almost load it. Can I load it into the train? That would be an easy way to get lime and fertilizer back out to the farm. Huh. I mean, the tracks are right here. Lime and fertilizer, um, the bulk sell point is just up here. Maybe we'll find a way to do that? I don't know. We'll see. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Clutch, that, that 4210, it's a little small for that... Uh, that spreader listen 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 you listen the ford has been doing just fine it doesn't care what your assumptions are it does just fine with what it is it's it's small for its size okay but it can handle things bigger than you would you know what i'm just gonna stop right now i'm just gonna stop right now it's doing just fine don't worry about it oh when it's a full load on it there she's definitely um a little bit more noticeable let's see how she climbs the hill we got a full load of lime in here come on betsy you can do it see it's um it's doing fine, you guys. It's doing, it's doing fine. Oh, boy. You know, it's a good thing we don't have any hills in our field, right? It's a good thing she's pretty flat. That's all I got to say about that. All right, so it's a bit more, um, a little bit more unwieldy when she's loaded. I know, go figure, right? Let's get into the field. Let's drop the lime off. Let's get these values on this field up a little bit higher. Let's make this field actually produce what it should be producing because right now she ain't gonna do it otherwise we're gonna be at what 64 percent i think is what it said let's turn this thing on and um yeah away we go perfect all right look at the ford's handling it you guys you know what don't doubt the little ford it's, it's not a little blue it's the 8210 it's still it's four wheel drive almost 200 horsepower but i'm using every single one of them right now i love it um when you start going down a hill that trailer starts pushing you it's, it's a bad it's a bad time <laughs> look at my lime trail <laughs> uh, it's okay it's okay it's okay you can still handle it we're still good we're still good come on get up this little hill oh boy the struggle is real yeah okay okay we're good we're good we're good i think okay this is the worst of it we'll be fine we're fine now we're fine all right almost done with the lime here i've already gone ahead and purchased fertilizer as well which is um, it hurt a little bit. The fertilizer was a lot more expensive at like 72,000 bones uh, for a truck full. So we've got enough lime, of course, to finish this off. It's just that I would love to have, I'm sure I have enough fertilizer. Now, I was planning on analyzing these fields. Um, I don't have the money for it, guys. I just don't have the money for it yet. So that's going to be something's going to get pushed back to our next harvest, I guess. We'll worry about that then. I was also hoping maybe we could do silage instead of grass. I don't think that's going to happen either. So, um, I could potentially do hay, but to find a tether and then rake it afterwards seems like a lot more work. I think we'll stick with grass. I mean, hay would get us another 15 to 20% maybe. But man, the work we'd have to go in to put to, to, to hay in this field just over taking the grass. I just don't think that would be worth it. That's a lot. Whereas silage, I mean, we're going to, what, five times? Um, so definitely worthwhile. I, I just don't think the hay is really um, worthwhile in the grand scheme of things right right now, at least. Also, guys, I, I don't know what they've got out here, but this beeping noise, you guys hear the beeping, right? It's not just in my head. I think it's from this marker. I think I, I think this field marker is, I, I don't know. It feels like there's like a precision launch strike. Please tell me you guys hear the beeping. It's not just in my head, right? Right? Alright guys, liming is finished. Uh, everything's lime. I'm gonna fertilize right away as well. So I've been storing, well I brought a load of fertilizer, like I said, put it in the warehouse. We've changed out the lime into the warehouse. Fertilizer is out of the warehouse. Let's load her up into the Ford. Alright, loaded with our 15,000 uh, farming units of fertilizer. That's all that truck holds. I can hold more in the Bridal than I can in the, in the truck. But I don't want to go buy any more. Hopefully, I'm hoping this is enough fertilizer. I'm really hoping this is enough. This is, um... I don't have a lot of extra cash to spend, guys. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. All right, not bad. Guys, we're um, already down on the small little field here. Finished off the front, the main field, and just going to finish this one off quickly here. And uh, I used a little over half of the fertilizer we bought, so that's a good judge, I guess, for that. Now, things could change once we actually analyze our fields. Hopefully, by the next harvest, um, the next cut. Yeah, hopefully we can do it then. 
But for now, we're looking pretty good. I mean, still have enough money. We've got 20 grand still in the account. I've got another probably 5,000 farming units of fertilizer left over. Hey, you know what? Things are coming together. So, fields should be good to go. I'm going to leave them alone. We're going to let them grow. Hopefully, in the next couple months, we'll be ready for another cut. Uh, we'll see how much it costs us to survive until then. I'm not going to spend any money, I don't think, yet. I'm going to hold on to that 20 gate and uh, just hopefully that can kind of, we'll ride that out. Like I said, I would love to start making silage. Try not to use any debt. You guys know how to do You know the drill. You know the drill. We're doing this realistically as possible. All right, guys. It's, oh, uh, man, it's June now. Yeah, you know what? On the bright side, our, our costs, our expenses for the last few months, relatively low, but growth pretty darn slow. Now, I seem to be running into a bit of a problem. So we fertilized and limed this field for the very first time last time. It's ready to harvest. I'm waiting for the, the rain to stop. But the expected yield still only 64%. Why? What did I do wrong? Now, that being said, we have an analyze this farm or this field. So that could be part of it. I don't know what to think yet. We're going to find out together. Well, let's go get to harvesting. I got the 21,000 bucks so I can at least hire a worker this time. It might make life a little bit easier for me. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I, for I forgot it was raining. Uh, as soon as I pulled into the field, watch my front tires just sink right in. Yeah, let's not do that. We're going to pull us out of the field for now. We'll wait for the rain to stop. Hopefully this afternoon we can get to harvesting. Um, I'm going to relax for a bit. I'll see you guys with the stop. Man, it rained almost all afternoon. Like, it's 3.30. Uh, I'm going to fill this thing full, right full of, um, of the baler twine, I guess, before we get out there. Guys, it rained forever. That took, that took way too long. Oh, come on. Um... Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. All right. Swather is just getting fired up. Should be good to go, I think. Let's check. I, I mean, yeah, that looks good. But I have no idea, guys. It's so tough to tell now, isn't it? I thought last time looked good, too. So, and that was said 64%. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Let's go get the baler fired up. All right. So we've reset the bale count. Our goal is 428 grass bales. Let's see how we do this time. Let's fire this thing up drop the pickup and um oh i missed a whole bunch to start with oh well 428 guys 428 what am i thinking this is gonna take a while uh we'll see you guys in a little bit here i guess <laughs> Alright, so swathing is almost done. Uh, yeah, they still throw swathers almost. You can see how, well, how much is left there. We've got some water out in the middle of the field still. It rained this morning. What do you expect? But the balers, I think she's made around 110 bales, something like that. I've got some more twine in the truck. I'm going to go take that out to him right now, make sure that's good to go. I I'm judging at what we've got right now. There's the, I think it's four headlands they've done so far. And then we're going to start moving in. That's only at 100 and, what, 110 bales. We're going for the 120, 28, 428. I don't know if we're making more or not right now. Just doing my math. Um, I'd have to judge. I, like, what do we want to make more? Like, I mean, 10, 15%, maybe 20% more bales would be nice. So if we can get over, what, 450, 475, somewhere in that range, then it might be worthwhile. All the money we spent, like, what, about 50,000 bucks we spent on fertilizer and lime. I think that would be worthwhile then. If we're not making that, guys, I don't think we're going to bother with fertilizer lime. Just go with status quo for now until we figure out why we're not making more bales. It didn't make any sense. Anyways, um, I think we're going to fill this up right away here. Can't be too much more room, more twine in that thing. Let's go fill it up. All right, so we are at 140 bales so far. Um, I don't know. We're not done. We're not, we got the last of the four headlines I've got set up to do here. And uh, we'll see see uh, we'll see how we do here it's gonna be close you guys it was net wrap come on hurry up load it in there keep on loading it in it's taking a sweet time there we go still got what five rolls left all right we're going through that surprisingly fast though you can see one last little bit here and then we'll we'll, we'll see uh the swather is almost done as well getting there we go, look at that lake Oof. all right gertie get going we'll see you in a bit oh boy lots still to do 
let's get this truck out of here. Well, guys, we're finally we're finally on the last row. Um, I I don't think we got that much extra. To be perfectly honest, I I want to say we're gonna be sitting around 450 to 460 bales. That's it. We'll say let's just go for funsies' sake. Say we get 30 extra bales. 30 extra. So that equals out to be roughly, you know, fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars of extra profit on this particular yield, on this particular harvest, I should say. Now, guys, we spent almost well, it would have been over fifty thousand dollars on lime and fertilizer. That doesn't really make sense. Um, just in case you're wondering, fifty thousand dollars is more than eighteen thousand dollars. In case you didn't know, so um. I don't know what to do with that yet. That's uh, that's still a thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna complain about this. We're still gonna make you know two hundred thousand dollars at least off this harvest. Uh, should be closer. You know, two hundred twenty to two hundred thirty thousand bucks. So that's good and great and all. I'm happy with that. That's gonna help us advance this farm. It's just I was expecting that you know working the yeah, this ground would help a little bit more. Now that doesn't take into account one thing. One thing that doesn't take into account, of course. Well, environmental score. So our environmental score, now that we've kind of, well, worked on our this, it should actually bump that up. I'm hoping it's considerable. Maybe, like, it, it's possible we could get 20% more per bale with that. It's possible. We'll have to wait and see when we sell all this stuff off if that helps out. But just given the amount of bales here, we're going to be at 550. So it's not even, not even that many bales. So 448 bales right there. We might get one more. That's it. That's all we got from this. Um, let's go fill this tractor back up with fuel. That beeping is getting a little annoying. All right, so guys, that's the second harvest. Like I said, would have been nice to have made a little bit more than that. By my math, that doesn't seem to make uh, that much of a difference for all the extra work we did. But hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. We're still going to make a decent amount of money off this, and it's all good. So, so guys, it has been a little over a year since uh, I last saw you. I've been focusing on, well, just taking care of this farm. I've been saving all my nickels, saving all my dimes. And, uh, well, we've, we're, we're about to buy some stuff because we're going to expand. It's time to expand a little bit, at least. Just a, just a tooch. Just a tooch. So we've gotten three cuts off. This was just the third cut. We just finished this one. There's, I don't even know how many bales are here right now. There's a lot of bales. Another uh, 400 bales, I guess. Something along those lines. Yeah, we've got quite a few bales here. I'm not going to sell them off quite yet, though. But the ground I'm standing on right here, guys, we own well more of this. I don't know exactly how far, but we owned, we bought some property here for oh, a little bit of cash. It was like three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it was a little bit of money. So let's get into in there. I want to see if I can plant that right away. Let's get the old Ford up to work, and um, you know what? Let's let's make this field bigger. Let's make it bigger because bigger is always better. So I've been told. All right, disconnect this trailer. We'll leave this right here. It's totally fine, right? It can just stay right there. Yeah, it could be. It doesn't need to go anywhere. Let's just leave it there. All right, let's get the old Ford up and running again. Oh, yeah, this old tractor has been running pretty good. Uh, yeah, no real issues considering. We might have to buy something else. If everything goes as planned today, you're going to see a new tractor on the farm. We'll see. Let's get things planted first. Uh, let's just move the planter so it's kind of over out of the way a little bit here. Because we do need to till this um, this ground up first. So let's leave it right about there. And let's just connect up to the uh, the, uh, the harrower here, the, the disc. Perfect. All right. Let's go take care of this. You know what? It's not a huge amount of field. If you guys kind of see, I think it's... Well, there's like technically three sections here we had originally. It's one more section over that cost us so much money, to be honest. It's, yeah, 300,000 bucks, though. Ouch. There we go. And uh, we'll unfurl that. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I do have some bales that are kind of on the land that I could be, um... Well, I could be taking care of. Oh, I did not connect the... Never mind. Hang on, hang on. I'll connect that. That usually helps. I'm like, why can't I unwrap this? Didn't hook the hydraulics up. There we go. So, unfurl that. Like, we, we do have some bales that are on that property a little bit. So, that's just something we're going to have to deal with for now. Not a, It's not a huge deal. Um, it's just a small amount of property anyways. We'll leave that as dirt for the time being. We'll plant seed down later on if we ever move those bales. Still haven't come up with a solution yet for storing bales yet. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of leaving them off the way they are, guys. It's not great, but it is it is a solution. All right. Come around our little parking pad here. I'm just going to kind of angle this off to the side. So I don't really feel like knocking these bales over. It looks so pretty the way they are, right? And I'm, I'm always worried I'm just going to put them all in the tracks and 
Well, that would be interesting to see this many males get hit by the train, I think. Um, I kind of want to see that. What do you guys think? How many bales can that train take out? That might be actually pretty good. We should maybe do that. Oh, speaking of which, there she goes. Oh man, that would be epic. <laughs> that would be totally epic to see. Uh, this is the end of our property here. We gotta go straight to the wall from here. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of see how much extra property we got. We're gonna see how many bales we get, guys. Um, and we're gonna have just a few. Just, just a few. And, uh, away we go. Let's go. All right, we've made her down to the wall, heading back across. Oh, watch out for all this dirt. Ah, this dirt always sewers me. I'm telling you, it is so thick. We need to find a solution. Does anyone have a solution for this dirt? I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, we need to find a way to, to dig ourselves out of this. Uh, real, realistic-ish, I guess. Anyways, we need to find something to, to get rid of it. Not sure what we're going to do yet. The soot and sand dirt there, that's just kind of driving me a little bit bananas all right all the way back on through try not to take too much of our grass up here since we're going to replant it uh and uh, i mean i guess it doesn't technically matter because this grass is just on the first it just started growing again after we harvested so um not too concerned with it but it, we'll try and not get too much of it of course we'll just go all the way up but guys this is this is gonna be good this is gonna be good it's gonna add another it's not quite a maybe a quarter not quite a quarter to our field yeah, pretty close to a quarter, I bet. If you look over there, you look back where we were, maybe another quarter. Not counting the far field, of course, right up against the wall on the other side of the road. We'll see how many bales we get off this, but we had some other ideas. I want to try to maximize the amount of, of field space we got to start with. Because I have to admit, this plot of land cost me a little bit more than I was anticipating at 300,000 bucks. The old tax man out here. Seriously, it's, it's a barren piece of land. 300 grand for this? Are you kidding me? Oh man, what a ripoff. Any, you know what, it's fine. We'll make do, but it's kind of put me in a bit of a pickle for, well, what I'm going to do come, well, for harvest season, essentially, because I do need to, to make a, a couple updates, upgrades, increases, I don't know. We need to make things a little bit better. All right, last little bit here. You know what? I'm not even going to bother liming. I'm not going to worry about fertilizing. We're just going to throw a bunch of grass seed down and see what happens here. I am kind of curious to see if there's much of a difference between the two fields. We'll find out. We'll find out once this is made. If there's... You should be able to see, like, a different number of bales made over on this side versus the other side, right? In theory? We'll see. Things are looking pretty good. We'll get down to the end here. Watch out for the pond out in the corner. Wish I could put some drainage or something down here. At least, like, some tiles or something. It's a little bit uh, on the wet side. Ooh, we're going a little fast. A little fast. Slower down. Slower down. All right. All right. We'll head back, and uh, we'll get that cedar on out here. And see how the Ford does. That's going to be a big hill for that cedar. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. We'll see how she does. We'll stick this back over by the rake, which, by the way, we're not using the rake for anything still. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I could have saved myself a couple grand on that thing, but oh well. Leave that there. We'll stick this right beside for now. Maybe I should put that rake on the, on the tracks and see what happens. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Disconnect hoses first, dummy. Um, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's go get the cedar. So, guys, I've kind of not given up, but um, moved a, a little bit away from uh, fertilizing and liming this field even too. So, I don't think it's going to matter that much if we don't do it over there. We're going to lose a little bit, of course, but you know what? Maybe we'll we'll focus on that at a later date. Maybe a later date. I think a later date. Anyways, we get some. Uh, where's the grass in here? Let's get our grass in here and we'll, we'll plant some hay over here for now. Come on, baby, let's go this will pour forward it's like oh man i can just hear her screaming right now you're, you're making me pull this again i thought you said it was only gonna happen once no uh, no we gotta do this again i'm my bad i'm sorry i'm yeah you gotta go but you gotta pull this thing once again holy yeah that's a, that's a little bit of weight back there i forgot it's been it's been a year since i've done this still does it not great but it still does it so because of the fact we haven't been liming or or fertilizing as the only the only consumable I am going through right now is netting for the the baler. The baler wrap. That's the only consumable we've been going through. Which is kind of nice, I guess. You know, it, it does save me a lot of trips into the city. Um, I would love to. I mean, look at our old farm here. The farm's in... It's a pretty beat up old farm. You know, eventually we'll have the $10 million and we'll be able to expand that. But for now, it's, it's in rough shape. Still, that's the only expense we have for the most part, of course. Taxes... Don't forget about taxes. Oh, come on. Get up there. Come on. Just, just grab here. Let me see if we can stick those on. Maybe that'll help. Come on, please. Come on, you can do it. Get up there. 
Yeah, those front tires have been a little bit, not quite as much traction as I was hoping for. We're almost there, almost there. Oh, that's the small hill though. Yikes. All right, come on, let's go shift down into one low. I find that, well, we could pretty much do anything in one low, just very slowly. One high, I, I, I tend not to, to get any traction. There we go, get up to one low and it seems to do all right. It's just, it takes for freaking ever. Um, yeah, this is the big hill right here, guys. This is, this is the worst one. And we're kind of, well, we're taking out a little bit of a grass here, replanting this field. It's just, it's so slowed on the hills. You get some speed going down, you gotta be careful because everything starts pushing you around a bit. But hey, the old Ford, the old girl, she handles it. It's just gonna take us a little bit to get through this field. It's not even that big. Uh, yeah, I've already forgotten how long it takes to plant with this thing. Oh well. All right, my fields are up and looking decent, actually. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. Look at this. We got, can you tell where the fields, the new field is? I can't at all. I mean, it'd be like right in here somewhere. Like this is, the field line should be like right here. So I, it looks all right. I don't know. So we're going to get in here and start harvesting. Now we're we made things a little bit easier for ourselves. We had that $219,000. I spent, um, a large portion of that on some new equipment, of course. Uh, once again, the most expensive part, well, we got another another haybine. So I got a case haybine back there to go with the Challenger. Those two can work together. It should make life a little bit quicker for this big field. And then of course, since we're, well, we're cutting down the hay, we need to bale it. Uh, uh, so I got a second New Holland baler and there was a used John Deere 6405 for sale for, it was $30,000, no, 20 some thousand dollars actually, 20 some, 28,000, something along those lines. It was relatively cheap for this little two-wheel drive John Deere. It is pretty small, but it should be enough to bail, and that's all I need it for. So it's going to be our little bailing tractor. I mean, it, it it's only like 105 horsepower, I think. Yeah, it is, there's not much to it, but it is in uh, really good shape and, and no hours on it. So uh, there you go. It, it is what it is. Actually, you know what? I don't even know what kind of hours. Let's jump in. It has got... Oh, that's the Ford. Hang on a sec. Let's try the John Deere. Uh, it has got, well, it's only 12.6 hours. It's got like no hours. So there you go. Not a bad setup. Let's get in here. Let's get these haybines set up on these, this field and uh, let's get this done. It's already 10. Oh, it's almost 11 o'clock. We got to get this done today. Let's go. All right. Uh, Challenger's going into the field. Uh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, uh, I think she knows what she's doing over there. Gertie, you know what's going on? You all right? Uh, just don't go on the tracks. Whatever you do. All right, looks good, looks good. Okay, so she is good to go. Let's uh, let's get Matilda set up over here on the case and uh, see if she can just kind of follow along beside her. You know, slowly, slowly make uh, slowly make a roll right beside her, I guess. Oh man, I hope they stay off the tracks. Please stay off the track. All right, Matilda's on her way now as well. Um, I, I think you know where you're going. We're just gonna watch her for a second, make sure everything's. Oh boy, I don't think she knows where she's going. Do, do you know where you're going? You gotta go that way. You're going... You're, no, don't come towards me. Uh, I think we may have to give her a hand. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe, 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 maybe. No, it's just... Yeah, she just, just figured the controls out, you guys. You gotta figure out... Um... Oh, boy. If there's a train right now, we're in so much trouble. That case is brand new. Please don't wreck it. Please. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty please. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... No, you gotta start right here. Okay, hey, yeah, yeah. Turn, turn everything on. You can do this. I have, I don't have faith. I really. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna do it, you guys. I think she's at a loss right now. <laughs> it was worth a try though. Come on. All right, yeah, yeah, you're kind of, you got it now. Yeah, yeah, just had to tell. You can, you can do it. Just, just turn on. Oh, you know what? I bet you I know what the problem is. Hang on, hang on. Uh, there, there we go. I hit the hydraulics up for her. That's all it was. She didn't have the hydraulics hooked up. <laughs> uh, you know what? It works. There we go. We're good to go. All right. Let's see if we get the balers going. Uh, of course, we got to fill up with the net wrap first. So we'll stick that in there to begin with. And uh, we'll get these balers rocking and rolling too. Perfect. How much is it going to take? Ooh, there's still... I'm going to go need to get some more net, net wrap, guys. We're going We're going through this pretty quick. All right. Ford is on its way right now. The other one should be the, uh, the new, new John Deere should have wine all set up. Let's make sure that they're going good. Looks promising. Looks promising. Perfect. All right, bail is started over there. Let's go get the John Deere hooked up. And make sure they're set to go as well. All right, the little John Deere. Let's see. Like I said, a little two-wheel drive. Should be okay, but it's a little... It definitely is not the most powerful tractor we've ever owned. 
it'll be fine. It's just, um, this is really going to be its only job. I can't really expect much more than this out of it, can I? All right, let's get our setup. Uh, we'll see if we can get them out in the field here. All right, away we go, you guys. So we've got two swathers and we've got two balers out already. I'm going to need to make a run to the city and go grab some, uh, some baler twine, I'm sure. But man, this could just be an easy kind of sit down and wait now. You know what? I guess just are hiring workers. I don't need to do anything. I could just sit back and enjoy my brown water, I guess. Look at that. It's all coming together. All right, their um, the swathing is almost done, actually. They're just finishing up out there. Looks like the baler twine's almost running out on the Ford, so we'll head over there. We'll fill it up first. And then, uh, yeah, the, uh, the John Deere should be right behind. They had, uh, they, we used a little bit of the twine beforehand, so it only had like, I think, 80% full of a roll left over. Of course, we refilled the John Deere just before they went out, so it'll take a, yeah, a couple more bales. We'll be able to put on there before we uh, do this, and then I'll go for a quick drive and, and uh, go buy another another pallet of bale twine. But guys, this is working out fairly well. To be honest, I knew it will. I knew it would. It was it was bound to be an, a good go. I mean, everything is coming together, right? Everything's working out perfectly right now. Uh, just got to keep on keeping on here. All right, so it's empty. The um, the John Deere just passed us. We're about to fill them up as well. What do we got left in here right now? This is going to be the second pallet of twine I've gone through, actually. I'm kind of surprised at uh, how much we've gone through. We've gone through one pallet already last year and last year. This is the second one already. Doing all right. We've got to go through. This is going to be the end of it after I go up to the John Deere. So um, we'll let them get going, finish off this field, though. It's uh, slowly coming around. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the Baylor twine. Look at this. It was the Ford climbing the hill. Good job, Gertie. Get up there. Get up there. But uh, that should, how much do we got left there? That last little bit, last little bit of the twine loading up. Guys, that's it, I'm gonna go make a run. I don't know if we're gonna need any more twine. I think we might actually need a couple more rolls, just judging by how much field we still have left here. Yeah, that's it there. We'll, we'll need some more twine. We'll have to go get it, let's go. All right, back into the city again. Um, wish they had like a fast pass system through here. Actually looks like it's a pretty nice day out here today for October. It looks like uh, most of the crops have been harvested out here. We're going to go up into the dealership just on the side here. Just pick up one pallet and head right back on out, though. We're not staying in, We're not staying on this side of the wall for too long. There we go. Another pallet loaded on. Let's put some straps on this so she don't fly out just when we hit those speed bumps going back through the wall. All right. Let's get the heck out of town again. Wow, look at all the bales, guys. And um, I can see the baler just over there. There's still lots to grab. There's so many bales to grab still. Crazy. All right, the Ford is done. John Deere's still out in the field. I'm just gonna drive this back. And we'll start picking these up while we're waiting uh, for her to finish up. Matilda's still out there picking up or bailing a little bit. You guys, we've got roughly 500 bales is gonna be what this is. Just, I think it's just a bit over to be honest. Beforehand, we were doing about 425 bales. Now we're just over 500 bales with that new added land. Uh, I didn't really notice too much of a difference on the far side. You know what, I'm gonna stick this baler right by the house because I want to fill this spot with bales right here. So let me just pull this back. I'm gonna put the baler behind by the house here. Yeah, I'm, I am I am a little bit surprised. I was expecting to see a bit more of a spread between like the bales on the right here versus the bales on the left, but it seems fairly consistent to be honest. I didn't notice anything and like, I mean, I, yeah, of course the bales are fairly similar in senses. Actually, I'm just start grabbing stuff here, I guess. Um, but we did lime the original field a harvest or two ago now so i was expecting to see a little bit of a increase there didn't really see it so um, for now i think we're not going to worry about really taking care of these fields Ooh, i missed some grass down here a little bit oh well i'm just talking there's no point what's like how much more could you possibly gain off this it feels like it's it feels like we got enough don't we um so we're gonna have about a thousand bales a little less than that sitting at the farm at the time being we'll be selling all these off come the new year well what is it january i think is the best time to sell these all off so we gotta hold on to these for a bit there's a chance i might be able to get another cut off this before the end of the year too so just did a quick check on the new area we've picked up all the bales pretty much on that new spot we got a little i think it's just over 100 pails off that maybe a little less actually it was just less we'll be just under because we have the corner back there so just less than 100 bales. That's um, that's reasonable. I mean, we, we never had more than, we were getting just under 500 bales before. So it's not quite 25%, but you know, we're getting roughly, you know, say 20% more bales just from that little spot. That's, that's not bad. I think that's worthwhile. That's the 300,000 bucks. That, that's, that made it worthwhile, right? I mean, okay, we could harvest that at least three times a year now. 
so uh well maybe twice right oh i didn't get any there but that's that's going to add up very quickly as we progress through this now we're not going to hit if we stay on this current trajectory we're not going to hit our goal of 10 million it's just not going to happen we're making roughly say 500 to 750 thousand a year right now if we continue with what we're doing so we're going to have to change things up but what this is doing is definitely funding my um my spending habits i mean look at the amount of bales we've got here guys there's going to be almost a thousand there should be a thousand bales here by the time we're done today i don't know where i'm gonna stick them all to be honest look at them all we've got a chopper coming to check out what's going on here uh yeah we've got lots of bales i, I don't know when to stick the rest of these guys we're running out of space pretty quickly i can probably put another two here i think i'm gonna have to jam the rest on the far side though it looks like this is about as much as we could get on this side yeah there there's a few just a few um a thousand bales great idea clutch great great idea oh well let's just drop these right ab about there a little further in there we go uh yeah that that's fine perfect all right let's go get a couple more oh the frames are starting to feel it need more frames oh man guys like i just so so many freaking bales and i still have a whole bunch left to get i just ran out of space um let's see if we take a jump up here let's jump on top look at them all <laughs> look at all the bales so i think um that'll call it for today i'm gonna go and grab the rest of these bales now i still have so much opportunity to make way more money off of this i mean this is the cheapest way we can make money with these bales it's just grass right we can do hay we can do silage still that's something we need to consider that it's going to help us out going forward for now let's just keep on making these bales and i'm going to sell all these guys off probably for the time being i could always just wrap these that's a lot of wrapping like well, by the time we're done it's gonna be 1500 bales if we get one more cut oh, i don't even want to think about that i have no idea how many bales we've been making here guys i think we're at about a thousand sitting right behind me right now we're gonna sell these off pretty quick because well we're running into winter and things are eh, getting a little little close yeah we're not gonna get another cut off this grass this winter it's it's time for us to hunker down and uh, see if we can make a little bit of cash here a little bit of cheddar as we roll into the winter into the new year <laughs> seriously look at look at the bales up here look at the bales whose idea was this and he's trained me to say that my wounds were self-inflicted yeah we even got some wrapped ones that are wrapped a bit differently it's funny we put them into the warehouse and they came out a bit different don't ask me so our plan for today is well number one let's get rid of these bales and we'll see what kind of money we make off them this is going to be real quick <laughs> for you not for me yeah don't ask we're getting rid of these bales i got a lot of trucking to do with those secondly i want to see if i could find a way to get rid of some of this excess dirt we own this land here i just can't use this i'd love to plant some grass here and hay this area between the road and the tracks but we got to get rid of all this whatever this is this has got to go and then last of all we're gonna figure out what this is all about guys i i don't know we gotta figure out this so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this soil here and figure out what's beeping down here because there's definitely something down there all right let's go sell some bales off so for those of you who have been following this series or if you're just new and joining us you well, you can tell we've been making a lot of bales you guys know we've been making lots of bales and for those that have just joined us recently hey welcome in new subscribers cheers to you guys you guys have been watching for a bit now you guys know we've been making tons of bales out here but today we're gonna be selling them off the only way we really can we've thought about using the train the train is just not a great system for those bales i have to admit it just doesn't work there's no place to easily sell them off so i have to well i have to take the trailer here with the tractor and the ford has got the more power of course than that little john deere so this is pretty much what i've been been using oh boy see look, look what i'm talking about here let me just move these bales back up on top so to say i've got to make a few trips into town would be the understatement of the year but um whatever man we got to make our money somehow right it these aren't worth a lot but when you've got a thousand of them yeah they're they aren't bad so we're making my trek back and forth into town selling all these bales off for the next probably hour or so i guess um holy shnikes hold on best driver at farms him hammer down let's go all right bales have been sold off and uh that's a pretty cool five well half a million dollars five hundred and fifty thousand bucks roughly not bad uh like a thousand bales guys yeah ridiculous amount of bales ridiculous amount of bales so mission one is completed let's move on to mission two are we talking missions today is that what we're talking about yeah we're gonna see how this is gonna work out I i've got a feeling we're going to do something we've got the money to upgrade things 
we got to talk about that, but um, the truck scared me. Anyways, let's take the old GMC or the Chevy out here, and uh, we're going to see if we can load this full of some of the dirt and see what we can do with this. Oh, this old truck. So I have made some phone calls. You can sell. We can sell the dirt. It looks like the construction site. Oh, come on. Get over there. The construction site in town is looking for dirt. So, hey, you know what? Guys, we can, we can actually... It's free money. I mean... I don't know how much we're going to get off of that, but it is free money. Come on, let's turn this thing around. There we go. It's um, it's going to be a struggle to pick this up. We're going to do a quick sell, and we'll see how we do this. Let's fill this thing on up. Any trains coming? No trains, no trains, no trains. Let's clean this stuff up right here. Like, you can tell where I've been driving over everything, because we end up missing the corner here at times, and uh, make a bit of a mess. So we're going to clean this up. Let's go grab the, the Ford. We'll clean up a little bit of that stuff. Make Maybe take a load in and we'll see what kind of money we get. And you know what? Regardless of if it's profitable or not, I think we're going to need to do something a little bit more substantial than this. I mean, here, let's just grab our first load here. Grab that. Like, it's just, of course, we're not we're not able to, to really hold too much with this. And this is the same with the truck. Same with the truck. Oh, come on. The truck is... Um, not exactly the biggest box on it so it the amount of, of digging we're going to have to do in order to uh to make a dent in this is kind of absurd it's not something i really want to do so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find a way to um to fix that oh boy come on get up there get up there you know what that no one said taking the desert back and making it green again was going to be easy right yeah there's no way that we're going to make this happen. This is like a multi-year project if we want to do it with the with the Ford guys. Um, I've made a, a little bit of a dent. I mean, a, a little bit. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> not, not so much. Get up there. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. There, it's, it's so slow. It's such a slow process. <laughs> oh, that's, that's rough. All right. Truck's full. Let's go into town and see if we can sell this stuff off. I hope I can sell this. I'm not even sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is just not going to work. I hope. Hopefully, it's it's kind of worthwhile. That's all I'm hoping for. And then we can at least justify buying new equipment, right? Did somebody say upgrade? All right. Back across the border. Same as before. Feels weird trucking the dirt into the city. Just saying. All right. I know it's around here somewhere. Is this the entrance? I think this is it right here. This is the construction site, I believe. Oh, well, they're letting me in. That's that's a good sign. Of course, we've got a way in. What do we got? What do we got? We've got. Oh, I, I can't see it. I can't. I can't see. 196,000 pounds or pounds. Yeah, it's got. It's 19,000 clutch. There's a decimal. Decimal points are tough. All right, guys, leave me alone. I have no idea what these jabronis are building back here, but um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like it's just. It feels like they've got dirt already in here. Like look at this. It's all rough all the way through here. But there is a big sinkhole. He said I have to... They want me to pour my dirt into the sinkhole, I believe. Um, come on. I, uh, maybe they should move some of the dirt here out of the way first. That would... That might be beneficial. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. I gotta back this up. Um, okay. Not into the sinkhole. Beside the sinkhole. I gotcha. Well, good thing we're making a little bit of money, I guess. Um, it's not a crazy amount. But hey, we're making some cash off this, so... Kinda? Oh, wait, wait, it's, uh, it's just not exactly easy to get it in here. That's all. It's gotta be, like, the right perfect spot for them to dump it in. Anyways, um, there's rumors that there might be a better place for us to sell, guys. I'm just not sure. Like, this is okay. We, we know we can sell stuff off here, at least. Oh, watch over the sinkhole here down here. But I think I've got a, I've got a bit of a plan. I've got a bit of a plan now. I was thinking originally, make sure we're empty. We're down to 3,100. So what's that? 17,000? I don't even remember what we're at. It was 19, right? Anyways, um, so yeah, 15. Uh, we've got a plan. We've got another plan that will make life maybe easier? I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to work as well as I'm hoping it is. But that's a lot of dirt still to move. I mean, that was 15,000. We made, barely made a dent in there. Let's go back to the old farm and um, I've got... Ooh! Excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. You you cut it. You cut into my lane, man. <laughs> what was that? Um, officer, did you happen to, to see that? Did, did you get the plate on that guy at least? Somebody? Seriously. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta get out of the city. This is crazy out here. Completely lost my train of thought right there. Completely lost it. Anyways, let's head back to the farm and 
I, I've got, I got, I got things going on. There's things you got to know about. We got to talk about it. It's going to be good. <laughs> what was that? So I've thought about getting a bigger truck and trailer. You know, we can get something massive and, and haul a lot of that dirt away. But I might have a better solution. Well, it might be the only solution, to be perfectly honest, to what I want to do. Why get a truck when you can get a train? <laughs> yeah, that's why not, right? I mean, the tracks run right along the area that we want to load up. I think that only makes sense, doesn't it? It's got massive amounts of capacity. It seems like a brilliant idea. Oh, this is where I get all my best ideas. And I know, like, Clutch, how are you gonna how are you gonna load that up? Oh, we got you covered there too. And it's just the way I like it. It's on the cheap. Right there is a glorified snowblower, the milling machine, and we'll see if we can use that to just shoot all our dirt inside. Let's give it a test and see how it works out. Uh, can the Ford handle it? Should be able to do it, right? Easy peasy. Let's back this up. Instead of using buckets, um, we'll try this. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to come up with some different solutions that are a little bit cost effective. And um, this seems like it might be one of the better ways, potentially. We'll see how it works out. Let's go. All right. So don't get me wrong. This is not the best solution ever. I'm seeing a bit of a problem is where the train's not going to want to move much. But... We can just kind of back this on up. And is that actually going in there? Um, hashtag realism. A re real, it's all, we're all about the realism right now. Oh, it is too. Look at it's It's actually going in, I think. Please tell me it's going in. Is it going in? I think it's going in. Oh, it's definitely going in. See? Like I said, potentially the best plan we've ever had. Um, or it's... Okay, it's not the worst plan we've ever had, but maybe not the best either. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is one way to get rid of all this dirt. I mean, it is working. It's just, it, it's the speed. It's a little bit, there's so much of it here that uh, trying to keep up is half the battle right now. As you can see, I mean, we fill up a little bit and just got to kind of take it easy. Oh gosh, it's so much dirt. So as far as distance goes, I can't quite get up to the main road. I get close, but not quite all the way there. And uh, so we might need to get a different truck and trailer. We'll see. We'll see what we do there. I mean, we, are, we got options with... I mean, we're not going to make a ton of money off this, I don't think. Um, but at the same token, this is really all free money. This is costing me... Okay, I'm leasing the train, but 5000 bucks for the milling machine. Yeah, sure. The, the rest is just... I don't have to... I'm making money. I didn't plant this, obviously. So... In a way, it's it's kind of nice. It's just, it's a little slower than I was hoping. I was really hoping I could just kind of keep moving the at the same speed. Just can't, can't, the dirt's so heavy, I guess, right? What do you expect? All right, looks like we're full all the way up to the uh, the brim. I think it's at about 240000 in here. Let's go uh, sell this off, and uh, we'll see what kind of money we make off this. Um, I have really no idea what to expect. Um... Yeah, it's uh, an interesting proposition, that's for sure. But by far the easiest way to move this, I would say, right? It's got to be. There can't be a better way to move this stuff than what we're doing right now. So let's go sell it on off. 35000 bucks, $1,000 leasing. Um, you know what? Not bad for um, really not much work. That's easy. It's easy money. Let's continue on. I've got probably at least four times that I can do between here. There's like one there, one there. I bet you four or five times more. I got lots of work still ahead of me, guys. So, prep it load number two, and I just found out something, well, beneficial and interesting. The train's back. We've got the Ford. We've got the milling machine. Let me show this to you. Of course, you can see I found the extent of our distance we can get. Most of the roads. I'm still going to need to figure out something there. But I didn't know that this was going to be possible. The grain, both the grain tanks on the train, we can use those as well. So... Um, we could see that there was space, of course, in those before. I didn't think I could fill it with dirt, though. They don't seem to care that I'm putting dirt inside of it, so it just means that I can I can do a lot more in one run rather than having to wait for the train. Um, kind of handy. It's still, I mean, it's a bit of a slow go. You can see we just kind of slowly push back and put along, slowly move all the dirt. But, hey, this isn't the worst thing ever. Uh, I've done a lot more tedious jobs before, so this is... You know what? Whatever. We're going to get rid of the dirt. This is going to be land. We're going to get back soon. Let me get this all loaded up. We'll see how much we make. All right. That's made a pretty good dent. I think we're full. Let's go sell this off and see what kind of money we're going to make off that. Ford, you can stay right there. Is it double? I don't even remember. Um, So what? 50,000 bucks? I don't know what to expect. 
Should be both that. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. 60 grand, 61,000 minus the leasing cost of five grand. Not bad. Of course, now we need to wait for the train to come back. Make that phone call. It takes a bit. It's going to take a bit. Okay, so I've gotten all I can get uh, to the train at least. So, I yeah, we had around uh, $700,000, a little over 750000 something like that. I've had to buy something in order to get... Well, we got a, quite a bit here that's still left over that I couldn't reach with the train. So, I bought something that's going to help us out in the long run. Look at this bad boy. We got a brand new Kenworth Heavy Haul along with a, uh, a loading trailer. Guys, this is... Yeah, I know. You don't need the Heavy Haul, triple axle. But we do because the amount of stuff we're putting into this trailer, it's... We needed something that's big, and I just... I mean, look at this truck. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't resist. Um, some, some chonky tires on this thing. Look at those things. Look at the rubber on those. So yeah, that's going to be our um, transportation for all of our dry goods for the time being. Well, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully this works out okay with our dirt. And uh, yeah, it should be fine. We'll get rid of as much of this dirt as we can using this. It should actually help us out in the long run. We can make decent money off the dirt, to be honest with you. It's just we got to start shipping it now since um, it's done everything that the train can take, of course. So now I've got to find a way to ship it off. And then whatever, we'll make the money back. We spent probably two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the uh, between the truck and the train or the trailer and the truck. So I've got to try and make that back. It's not going to be. I don't know if it'll be quite that much. It'll be close. Eh, maybe two hundred thousand. Anyways, but uh, what I was thinking of also doing, just so you guys are aware, is maybe even doing like an auger. I don't know if we could find an auger wagon that would move the dirt. That would be a way to load the train and then still do this. I, I really wanted to get a truck and trailer, though, just for future farming. All right, so we finished off the one side. I've got one more. Well, I've probably got two more loads. A little less than two more loads left to do here. It's going to be more than one for sure. Let's go sell the rest of this off. But guys, this, this truck and trailer unit is actually probably going to come in handy for well stuff we got planned later on as well. So, like I said, we have a couple projects to do today. We've got one more thing I want to get done before the end of the day. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the dirt down here. This will be a project for later on. Of course, we got all the dirt down in front of the wall here I can clean up as well. i got lots of dirt I can clean up. You know, usually we like to go and take down trees as kind of an extra way to make some cash. Well, out here, out here in the frontier, guys, we've got dirt we can always clean up. And that makes us some extra cash. So... You know what? Sometimes you have to just find different ways of making money, I guess. I'm a little surprised at the colony is this can what is good. Holy full load, it's just yes, yeah, not even there. Glad we got the heavy haul. Alright, this delivery location's a little tougher than I was expecting, but we're, we're there. <laughs> Alright, let's get some money. Let's get out of here. Let's fill this up. I got still one more project to do today. Let's finish this off and we'll go from there. Alright, we've cleared all that dirt off. It's time to work on to our last little project. I don't think I'm gonna get it done, guys. Uh I might have I might have um, bitten off more than I can chew, to say the least. Um, yeah, but it's too late. It's too late in the day. We'll, we'll do it maybe tomorrow, but let's go for a drive. We've got the weight on the back. We've got the Ford set up with the front forks now. Let's go out. You can see the truck out there. Let's uh, let's make a quick cruise out here. And oh, hang on a sec. This is too low still. Lift that up. There we go. Let's go to the truck and see if we can dig this down a little bit. I, I, I'm kind of skeptical that we're going to be able to get much done with this, to be perfectly honest. It, I don't think the daylight's there, and I want to do it during the daylight as well. So I'll do a little bit just to see if we can do anything with this tractor. I think I'm going to need more power, though. All right. You can hear the beeping. We need to dig down in this to figure out what is down here. It's It's been driving me crazy with the amount we've been working in this field. That's all you hear when you're driving around. So um, let's see if we can dig down a little bit here and uh, move some of this dirt around. And then maybe we can, re I don't know if we can use it again. We'll see. But like I said, the little Ford here doesn't quite have the weight I need for this type of work. I, I I don't know how far down it is. So just trying to do a little bit of exploratory, exploratory surgery almost. Uh, trying to figure out exactly what we got down here. Grab onto some of this. Oh boy. Yep, nothing yet. All right, well, we'll dig down a bit further. Let me see what I can find. Guys, I got like a weird beeping noise happening all of a sudden. Let's see if we can get it to happen again. I can hear it. I don't know. I, I feel like I, if I got close enough, it started beeping weird at me. I don't know. We'll see if it happens again. There. It's a different beeping noise. It's it's not the same. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, it's different. I don't know. Nothing yet. Still just 
slowly making a little bit of headway. It's it's just so there's just so much dirt and stuff in there like that. It's actually like fairly compact dirt now as well. It's not easy for me to pick it up. And um, like I said, this little tractor is not great for it. The weight is uh, throwing me around a little bit, as you guys can see. Our brand new trailer is getting kind of beat up by it. You know what? I think I think we're going to... We got the money. I got over $600,000. I figure, you know what? We could probably rent something tomorrow and dig down. Like, what? What is down there? All right. Let's worry about that later on. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can get something rented for tomorrow. We'll dig deeper. But uh, let's take this back to the farm for now, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Yeah, it, we'll, we'll get it in the morning. It'll be nicer. We can see things. We'll do it tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. In it's 9 a.m. the next day, and we're determined to figure out whatever's down here now. It's it's time. It is time to do it. Um, let's just see what we can get to, all right? I'm hoping this Volvo actually makes life a little bit simpler. I just, the forge, the bucket's so small, like... I don't know. We tried digging down and look at how we didn't make a dent in this at all. So this should, in theory, make life a little bit simpler. Let's let's go. Yeah, see, that's better already. We're already through the rocks into the dirt. That's way better. If only I could dump my bucket into the truck instead of all over the ground. That'd be even better. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. We've already, you know, three or four buckets full and we're already making a big dent in that. Look at that. There's still something beeping down there. I, I can't wait to figure out what the heck it is. Because it's driving me nuts. we got to get rid of this beep. You can hear it, like, all over the place in the field here. It's kind of crazy how far back it goes. There we go. Oh, I'm seeing something. You guys see that? There's something there. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm getting the, just to the top of it now. Whatever's down there. We're, we've got a little bit more to... I'm going to dig around the far side here and see if we can get around the back side of it. It looks like a little container of some sort. Uh, man... I hope it's not like radioactive waste out here in the in the desert. <laughs> That's the last thing we need. Since we're out in the middle of nowhere, you never know what could be out here, right? Grab a little bit down right there. Make it making a pretty big dent. Making a dent. I don't want to hit it. Really don't want to hit it. Alright guys, I, I'm I feel like I'm gonna break something down there. Let's just shut this off. You can see we've got the container right there. Let's uh I threw some shovels down beside. We'll see if we can just kinda dig it out. Can we just dig it? Is that something we can do? Can I just, like, get some some dirt down over here and just, uh, oh, oh, d d dig this thing out? Oh, oh, yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, um, yeah, no, 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 just, just dig. How much does this, oh, man, you know what? I've been working out, what can I say? I can, I just wish I could get my arms to work properly on the shovel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, don't don't use a shovel. Do you guys you guys wouldn't understand how how much work it is to use a shovel. Oh boy, just just use a shovel clutch just to shovel it up. Shovel. Oh, see, I got that one. Yeah, see, best best shoveler in farms. <laughs> um, guys, I I think I've dug enough to know what we what's down here. I don't know where how it got here, but <laughs> um, are you guys seeing what's in that container? Um. It, it, it looks... I gotta try and dig to the bottom of it, I guess, here, and see if I can get the rest of it out. Um, here, you know what? Let's just throw that there for now. It's all money. It's it's all $100 bills. Um, oh, what's going on here? Let's let's not do that. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Empty that out. Empty your shovel out. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Relax. Let's see if I can dig to the bottom of this thing and get the rest of it out. Just kind of angling the dirt out of the way so we can get behind this container. Push everything up to here. Trying to get down underneath of it. Yeah, we're, look at all the look at all the cash in there. How deep is this thing? <laughs> it's, a, it's a decent amount of cash, you guys. You know what? Not bad. All right, so I'm gonna load this. In the, I'm gonna see if I can load this in the truck. I don't know. Um, Fifteen thousand bucks for the Volvo. It cost me to rent it for the day. Um, what do we get for this? Let's see. Look at all the money. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I'm so... How much... How deep does this go? I mean, there's got to be a couple thousand bucks on... T Is there like 20 grand in here? It could be like 20... 50 grand? I, as long as it's enough to pay for our rental. $700,000? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. No way. Uh, 15 grand to make 700,000. And the little note said that there was more on here, I think? Is that what I read? That's crazy. Guys, that's that's a ridiculous amount of money. 
Seven hundred thousand. Well, I guess we can afford to buy a new tractor to uh, replant some of these fields. All right, guys, the new year is upon us here on the frontier, and I know. I promised you guys I was going to green. I don't even know else what to say about this. We're gonna make millions from from the greenifying the valley. Well, we're still gonna kind of work on that. But after our somewhat windfall of cash, it's time to change things up just a little bit. What? You're giving up already? Yeah, guys, I don't think we're going to find any more buried treasures over in this area, at least. I, we're going to keep our eyes peeled, but there's nothing else in this field that we've got. So this has been patched up for now. So we've determined, you know, we make roughly a million bucks per year-ish, something like that. Uh, we use the, Using our green gold tactics, the green gold out in the field here. Of course, we could do silage, bump that up. We could do, hey, maybe, maybe make a little bit more of that. But I've got something else I've been thinking about. I mean, there's an awful lot of oil derricks just across the street. Now, guys, I was going to try to buy up these oil derricks and buy up the refine, well, not refinery, but the pumping station right here. Because he wants two million bucks for this. I says, pardon? Two million dollars? I don't got two million bucks. Come on, man. Excuse me? A baking powder? No, I'm no oil expert, but I don't think the roadway or the rail line here is going to stop oil from being taken out of the ground. So just because the oil derricks right now are over on that side of the road doesn't mean I can't get oil on this side, right? And out here, let's be honest, I'm not opposed to directional drilling or fracking either for that matter. So, um, you know what? We'll find a way to get that oil. Oh, dare you! In fact, guys, I've, I've already spent a couple hundred thousand dollars in that in all in the the process of getting some black gold let me let me show you now i'm not just moving on away from our hayfield our hayfield of course is still going to be here don't worry we're still going to greenify the valley but why not allow us to move into other endeavors as well and it's not like it takes up that much space right we're actually you know what we're doing an environmental service because we're pulling all that dirty oil out of the ground and you know we'll, we'll, we'll and we'll allow people to make it into useful products right yeah that sounds like it makes sense so guys we've got two pump jacks right here built we're uh slowly we're gonna test the waters with this we're gonna well so we're gonna test the oil with this and see how we do now i'm going to need to build a refinery that's the end of it the the refinery they're not gonna allow me to have access to the refinery across the street i need to use this one i need to build one myself with the oil we're pulling out of here. Competition, you know, they, they don't want it. So we'll get that built a little later on. We're going to let the pump jacks run for a bit here, see if we can get some oil out of the ground. And uh, we'll go from there. So we're roughly a million bucks right now sitting in the bank account. Let's see what we can do with this today, guys. We'll give it a year. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we've let everything run the um, the pump jacks run for about, about a, a month. A little less than a month, to be honest with you. Uh, the, things are working. We're having no problems. Like I said, it's January, so I got nothing. I mean, I could technically knock this down, but we're better off waiting anyways. So this is going to be um, another way for us to make some income. So each pump jacks cost us about 100,000 bucks. I've got another small refinery, which I'll show you in a second, which is another 70. So all in, you know, with landscaping and everything else, it's about $300,000 for us to get this operation up and running. And we're already getting product out of this. Um, I don't know how many liters we've got here, but we've gotten quite a few old oil barrels ready to rock and roll. It's all just crude oil, so we need to refine this stuff. So I figure the easiest way is we've got our old bale trailer attached to the back of our uh, our chev here, and I'm gonna take that and just throw some bales on the bad boy and bring it over to the refinery. The refinery is on our property. Like I said, we spent 70 grand building this little refinery here, just on the edge. Now it's fairly small. It's not like this is gonna. It's not gonna pump through a ton of of the uh, the crude oil. But it's a place to start. Like I said, we're, we're kind of doing baby steps here because I, I could afford to go crazy and build a massive refinery. It'd be about half a million bucks. And that would be up to scale kind of to well, what those jabronis have over on the other side of the tracks that won't let us use it. So we've got we've already got some crude oil been pulled out of the ground. We might as well start pumping it through there. We don't need to store it up. We might as well grab a few of those barrels, throw them on the truck, bring them over there and get that refinery up and running. Yeah, I mean, there's gotta be, you know, a dozen liter, a dozen thousand liters. A dozen th what am I talking about? Come on, a dozen thousand. Brutal, Oof, turning radius, not so good. Um, we're probably going to need some kind of a tanker truck at some point as well. We'll get some kind of a tanker to pull behind the, uh, the Kenworth over there. I think that's something we're going to definitely need sooner than later, hopefully. Let's get this thing loaded up and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the refinery. Oh, the old Ford needs some fuel. Uh, not today. 
Uh, we'll, we'll deal. You know what? We're making fuel. I can, uh, can I fill it up with that? Not the crude oil, obviously, but maybe something else. Uh, let's get the front forks put on. We'll grab the weight as well, just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, we'll get you connected. There we go. Uh, you know what? We can probably go grab... Forks are just... Where are they? There they are. They're behind us by the house. Uh, we'll grab the weight while we're here. Oh, there we go. Grab that. Perfect. All right, let's go grab those forks. Up we go. Perfect. And grab the forks, and then we can load up those bales. Bales? Pallets. You know what I mean. All right. Oh, don't hit that. There we go. All right, guys. So, hoping this makes us a decent amount of money. Like I said, if we can not even bother hand, can we move on to something a little bit more profitable than the hay um, and the grass fields that we're doing here? Don't get me wrong. It's nice that we can harvest these like three or four times a year, but at the same token, I would love to move on to something... Um, Easier, I think is the word I was looking for. Yeah, maybe easier. Speaking of easier, I should have... I really should have built these a little further apart, I guess. I feel like... Um... <laughs> like a ten-point turn just to, to grab onto these bar these barrels. It, it's, a, it's a bit much. Oh, look, I got two. Perfect. Kind of glad I'm not transporting these all the way across... Uh, oh! Sorry about that picnic table. Oops, I don't think I'd want to transport these all the way across the city like this. Uh, that, that trailer's not really designed for what we're using it for, but it does work just to, you know, as long as we're careful. It, yeah, be careful. It should be fine. Let me risk this up, and then we can go over top at least. Yeah, see? I don't know what I'm doing. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll put these at the front side here this time. These barrels are looking a little bit suspect as well. Um... I, you know what? I ordered these barrels in. I had to buy the barrels. They look like they've been used a few times, but uh, you know what? They're holding the oil for now. Let's not tell... In, in, oh, man. Environmentalists about this, guys. All right? So let's just get this going. Now, while this does look like a fair amount of crude oil, guys, each one of these barrels, each one of these pallets, I should say, only is holding, what, 500 liters of crude oil? So, it, it, yeah, it's decent, but it's not like it's a, a monumental amount. So, just take that for what it's worth. Now, that being said, we can get some decent money, it looks like, for some of the products we're going to be making. Just move this truck up a few feet so we can grab the rest of these guys. Yeah, there's a lot of products and byproducts we're going to be making uh, from this crude. Of course, diesel is the number one thing, but I mean, there's some lubricating greases. There is various different lubrications that we're going to make out of this stuff that uh, hopefully makes us some extra money as well. We'll see. We'll see what we make. I have zero, zero idea how much we can make off this for what we've got right now. But like I said, $300,000 investment. How long will it take us to remake that? Or should we maybe double down? And I don't know what the answer is quite yet. But uh, we'll see how fast... Can I, can I get two of these again? I don't think I can get reach two of these ones. We'll have to wait and see how fast we can kind of make that money back. And that'll be a, the deciding factor. Like, are we making crude oil faster than we can get the production to uh, refine it? If so, then maybe we need to upgrade that first. If not, well, ooh, look at this. I can grab like three. Oh, I don't think the Ford likes that. Um, maybe we can grab, if, if you know, if it's not producing it fast enough, we'll, we'll put some more pump jacks down. I mean, this isn't too, too bad, but I, I think we might have to find a solution for moving the barrels over. I don't know yet. We'll see what we can do. But uh, like I said, 100000 or $300,000 to get us up and running is not too, too bad. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think. All right, last pallet we're going to be able to fit on this thing. Can I stick it right in the back corner there? And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I got a half a barrel left. I'll keep on pumping into that one for now. We'll see what we get out of this, guys. Um, It's going to take us some time, I'm sure, for the refinery to do its thing. I'll, I'll show you what we got, though. Eh, I'm not even going to strap it down. We'll just jump in and let's go for a little drive. Nice nice and easy. You know what? The old, the old shove doesn't really exactly have the highest acceleration, so I should be fine anyways. <laughs> Um, I could probably throw a couple barrels in the box. Maybe that would work too. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. We'll just uh, load this into the refinery. And uh, then we're kind of hands off for a bit, guys. It's um, We'll just make sure the refinery is running. In fact, I'll show you. We'll go inside the building here and we'll take a look at our stats for everything. Let me just get this set up first. All right. Perfect. We'll get rid of all those. And um, shut this off. Let's, let's go take a look. Like I said, this is just going to take crude oil. And it's going to produce a bunch of stuff for us. Oh boy, okay. So we've already got almost 7,000 liters. It only holds 30. So it it's going to be interesting to see how much we can put into this from those two pump jacks. We'll give it another month and maybe because that'll be up to 12,000. 
We'll see how close we get to maxing that out. Now, meanwhile, it's already started making kerosene. We've got motor oil, we've got bearing grease, we've got the diesel, and then a paraffin as well. So all of these we can sell depending on price. Prices could change, of course. So I don't know what's going to be worth the most. I'm going to assume diesel, but I don't know. You notice the diesel, it only holds 15,000 here as well. So it doesn't hold that much. But we're already starting to make stuff. It's costing us money to run. Let's see what we can make over the next little bit here. Hopefully we can pay for all this sooner than later. Yeah, guys, I'm really curious what the rate of return is going to be on this. How fast can we pay off that $300,000 investment? That's really what it's going to be. Can we become oil barons and then maybe use that money to reinvest into greening up this valley? And I couldn't afford to really buy... I could buy some stuff. I mean, we've got a million bucks still. But if we can, you know, make that money a little bit faster, then we can, you know, speed up the process of buying property and putting grass down or maybe some other fields, right? And taking care of this, this whole barren area. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this run the time being we'll get another uh, i mean we can't do anything else we just gotta let it run for the time being anyways we'll see what we get and uh maybe we can start shipping some stuff off all right guys we're into march already i know i was kind of moving things along a little bit um but keeping an eye on our new our new production there oh boy that's a rough spot and there is there's definitely some diesel and other products we can sell I'm kind of holding off trying to let it build up a little bit like i said we're gonna see how much we can make back of that 300k we invested into it now, I've had to buy... I've got something else that's on order. We've got a trailer that's on order to ship all that stuff, of course. We need a tanker. And uh, we're going to go pick that up in a little bit. I just thought we could probably get a head start on maybe planting some grass, some hay over here uh, that we can keep going later on, right? we gotta, we got to get back in here pretty quick. So if we can get this all kind of cleaned up, ready to go, maybe we'll do a quick run and plant this. It won't take us too long with our planting unit, right? Like maybe up two passes? It doesn't even take us long to to, to, uh, to come through and disc this all up. Let's be honest. We can get through this pretty quick. And the old Ford is... Well, it's getting her done. I need, to, I need to fill this thing up. Huh, I wonder if I could fill this up right at the refinery. Hmm. Um, yeah, we can just <laughs> refill this right now. <laughs> um, all right, there you go. We're full, full of fuel again. That's... A cheap way to fill up our equipment. I like that. Hey guys, I guess I no longer have to go into the town to uh, to refill anything. I could just, on the way out of the farm here, I could just kind of fill up as I go. That's kind of convenient. Absolutely convenient. Not even a problem. Or as some may say, barely an inconvenience. I like it. Oh man, I forgot how much of a struggle it was to uh, to pull this big case planter. It's uh, It's been a bit. It's been a while since we've had to use it. But um, yeah, the Ford, it does it, but it... it it's definitely having a bit of a struggle session right now. Yeah, it, this is not great. Come on, Betsy. You can do it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> um, it's a good thing we only have to make like three passes aside, guys. Otherwise, this is... I don't, rem I don't remember. Was it that much of a... It was a struggle. Never mind. I don't remember now. It's a good thing this is flat. That's all I can say. Painful. There we go. Getting back up to speed. But, oh, she has a, she has a bit of a struggle getting up to... Uh, planting speed here that's for sure all right guys we're just wrapping up last little bit here you know what let's go um as soon as we get this done this is planted i'm good here let's head over to the shop where i've got that trailer waiting for me we'll take the kenworth we can pick that up and uh, bring it back and see if we can maybe start making a little bit of profit I i've spent you know enough money for now let's go see what kind of money we could be looking at making potentially it also looks like uh those fields are are almost ready to be in another month they'll be ready to be uh harvested again as well you know what <laughs> i'm kind of trying to neglect the fields i want to see if we can make money off of uh, the crude oil instead i know i know just let them grow right it's still greenifying the valley you guys can't you can't give me crap for that all right we're, we're still taking care of the valley all right we got the kenworth with our brand spanking new it's a fifty thousand dollar trailer it holds about fifty thousand liters of fuel as well um it looks a little funny with the uh triaxles here uh, i'm not gonna lie it doesn't quite fit it right but hey it's got lots i got lots of horsepower in this thing so it's gonna have to work did that make any sense it's got more it's just listen it, it's got horsepower so it's gonna work all right <laughs> don't worry about it all right we're taking this thing back to the farm uh we're gonna load this thing up and see if we can make some profits today we got a bunch of stuff to ship <laughs> uh, maybe too many horsepowers holy shnikes hold on let's go all right well let's fill this thing on up with everything we've got there that can all go inside Look, I've spent some money on um, some signs and some barriers or just so Clutch doesn't get hit by a train. I really I don't want to get hit by a train. Actually, this one's kind of not really centered here. Kind of like right there. Stay there. 
That's better. That's that's better. Now it's not going to hit by trains anyways. Um, I still got a bunch of other stuff to ship. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to ship the rest of the stuff yet. It, it, it's going to be all contained. Keep going, keep going up. There we go. So we've got, what, 4,000 meters in? Something like that? Is that what it is? 4,600. Let's go sell it off. Hey, see? Warning. Trains. Ah, see? See? Uh, if the train came right now and hit me when I said that, was it because I wasn't paying attention? That would have been awfully embarrassing. <laughs> just saying. And just sell it off right here. We have our, our fuel station, which will take all of our fuel. So we can just kind of pull this around and, uh, yeah, we'll dump this in. All right. First little sale, 17,600 bucks. Yeah, that ain't bad for like a month's worth of sale. Eh, yeah, that's not the worst thing I've ever done. All right, all right, all right. That's just the diesel. Unfortunately, even though, like I said, we have a lot much more stuff else to ship off and make profit off of, it's just that it's um not as easy to ship as the rest. We got a, we got pallets and pallets and pallets. Yes, yeah, so we're back to um doing this the hard way, I guess. You guys, you guys know how it is. Uh, we got four pallets of kerosene here. Let me load these bad boys up first. Kerosene's loaded up. I uh, just un I just filled up a bunch unfurled. I was gonna say unfurled doesn't make any sense But just got a bunch of oil and some um, Bearing grease is that what that is? Yeah, yeah bearing grease. We got no par paraffin paraffin paraffin. I thought it was bearing grease We got some bearing grease still to load, but I got the oil and the paraffin. Let's load this up as well Yeah, first pallets going on again guys. This is um This trailer's going to work out. I hope pretty well once again uh, I don't have straps for it. I should probably buy some straps at some point, but I got nothing So I'm just gonna have to take her easy don't worry with the chef, it's not going to be a problem. And then lastly, there's the bearing grease I was looking for. Comes in these nice little orange, orange, green pails. Why is it? Is it purple and orange mixed up? I get, I don't know what it is. I know they're not the same. I don't know what it is. The two words just tend to be the same in my head. Yes, yes. Um, I think that says something about me. Let's just move on. Let's just, we're going to move on. We're, we're moving on. Moving on. All right, last one. Let's go see uh, what kind of profits we made. So we made 17, a little over 17 grand just on the diesel. We've got a few other things to go check now. Look at that. So all sorts of products out of here just from one little, one little production plant. I don't even know what, you know what? We're a refinery, then we might have to make this bigger. Okay, if we're gonna be doing this a lot more often, I gotta come up with a better solution and fast. The old friend of this truck was barely able to get up. I had to slide some pallets to the back it was bad news so i mean it's going to work but no oh, oh boy um nothing's strapped down it's just it's, this has got disaster written all over it i mean it's not like we don't have bumps to hit the whole way here we got speed bumps going through the border we got my awesome driving skills ah it's just got disaster written all over it guys oh boy see and yeah that front end just kind of it hops but it's it wouldn't take much to keep it off the ground let's go with that it would not take much at all. Any kind of speed, I could probably wheelie this thing right now. <laughs> all right, thanks for letting me through, guys. Let's go sell this stuff off. All right, selling all these these products off. What kind of money are we gonna make off this? I hope this is, like I said, worthwhile. Oh boy, 21 grand already? I've only got, <laughs> I've got lots of it still left on there. That's, um, guys, this is, this ain't bad. Like, this is actually really, really good. I mean, really good. I mean, I mean, really good. Um, holy shnikes. So, another 25, what's that? 45,000 plus the seven, say 20. Guys, that's 60 grand over two days. Huh, really? I mean, that's pretty convenient. That's easy money. 60 grand already, huh, interesting. All right, so that turned out to be pretty profitable for um, like no work at all. In fact, um, I can see why these guys are doing all this over here, weird. Yeah, weird, must be oil prices fluctuating right now. What can I say? Maybe we can take advantage of that ourselves, but let's crunch some numbers. I know it's my, your favorite part, right? Let's crunch numbers. I'm good at math, you're good at math, let's be all good at math together. Okay, I suck at math. But let's let's take a quick talk and let's look at this. So currently we've got our two oil pumps. They're running away, doing just, just fine. They're doing their thing. Now, between those two and getting pumped into our refinery, now you can see we've currently got 4,600. It's still sitting there. It's still sitting there. Well, it's, it's, it's being processed, as I, should, as I said before. So it's being processed and it's turning into all our products. Now, 4,600 is, so you're, you're saying maybe two of our oil wells, two of our pumps, 
to one small refinery seems to be a pretty good number. It seems like it goes through this. Like by the time there's no or more oil sitting at the pump right now, ready to be shipped over here. So it's like two to this one should be fine. But what if we wanted to increase this? What would happen if we built another two more oil derricks? Well, the oil pumps, the, the pump jacks. I think we need two more. Now, just remember though, the problem is gonna be that if I build two more of these, that's gonna be $200,000 to spend. Yeah, I've got room. I could put them down and we could pull, we could definitely extract more crude oil out of the ground. But the problem is going to be how much we can process it. You see my problem here, guys? I can only process it so fast. Now, a bigger processing plant's gonna be about $150,000. So we're gonna run into issues there, right? So. Yeah, we're starting to get up there in costs. I still haven't recouped the 300 initial investment yet. It's going to happen really quite quickly. Like another two months, we'll pretty almost caught back up realistically. So, you know, it, it's kind of like free. I, I feel like I'm playing with house money here. You know what? We're going to see how much money we can make from the, from the black gold. We're going to, we're, we're doubling down. We're doubling down. I'm going to go build some oil derricks and we'll see what we can do. I mean, they seem to be doing all right over there. I think we could do just as fine over here. And well, guys, I promise we'll use this money positively for the valley. I promise. I promise. Maybe. I don't believe you. Well, guys, I went and did it. It's into May now. We're out of spring. And I'm not going to bother with this for now. We're going to um look at the oil we're pumping. Yeah, I added four more. Four more. Four more pump jacks. Uh, You know what? Go big or go home go big or go home so now like i said since we added four of these we needed to add another refinery to keep up now let's talk about that let's go for a drive yeah the chev here has been um it's just my transportation vehicle back and forth and back and forth and back and forth guys to be perfectly honest uh it is barely able to keep up with what we've got going on here so as we pull up you'll see we've got of course the small refinery which we used before and we're still using that because, well, we've got two pump jacks that are, it can handle two at a time. Like two pump jacks are fine. But you can see in behind here, guys, this is a bigger, this is definitely a bigger refinery. And this one's handling at least four. Now, to be perfectly honest, it, it, it handles more than that. And like between the two of them, I, I bet you this one here could almost handle six pump jacks is my guess. And with the amount of oil we're getting out of it at least. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're pushing out quite a bit here. So we got 3,000 liters right now. But it, it's pumping out quite a bit. So I may want to add some more pump jacks at some point, but it's taking up all my time. Like at least four times a day, I am moving oil, crude oil over to, well, this this one here. And, uh, and of course, our, our little small refinery right here. So it's definitely, um, it's sucking up all my time is just transporting right now. So guys, quite honestly, I kind of want to see what we made. I'm going to start selling some stuff off and see if, if it's worthwhile what we're doing right now. I think it will be. I mean, we made 60 some thousand, 60, almost 70,000 bucks with just the two. So I'm going to be on the assumption here that we should be making at least double that, uh, a little bit more even, of course. So let's see what we can do here. Let me spin this thing around. We're back up into our field. Let's, um, let's load this thing up. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't make this trip again with um, the setup we had, but listen, it's gotta happen, all right? I didn't want to spend any more money because I'm not broke, it's just I'm cheap. There's a difference. I look like I'm coming back from the grocery store. Look at the amount of stuff I have on here. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. Let's go sell this all off. It looks like quite a bit. Now, for those wondering, uh, if you're new around the channel, this is the oil production mod in the Mod Hub that uh, works really well with the Frontier map here. We're seeing if this is going to take over everything. I mean, you can get this for free right now over in the Mod Hub. Go check it out. Download it. It'll work on any other map, of course, as well. You get the sell points. You get all the mods. Don't, don't launch everywhere. But uh, it does seem um, pretty overpowering at times. Just saying. I mean, we're going to find out for sure if this is going to make or break us. Uh, like I said, I had a million, 1.3 million before we dove into this. How long is it going to take to get back there? I need a million bucks to get back. Really, I need to make a million dollars off this. How long will it take us to make a million? All right. Already got 20 grand sold out of it. Let's see how much of this we can sell. I should be able to get all of these pallets off here loaded into the building. And yeah, it should be, ooh, looks pretty good. Looks like it'll be a little over $100,000 here already. That's pretty darn good already. Like I said, I was expecting a little bit more than $100,000. We've already got, without, we've still got diesel to go pick up. But I mean, we're already getting hit. Keep on going, come on, keep selling. Keep selling, get that oil. There's a bunch of oil back there, sell it all off. What's going on here? 
Having some problems getting the last bit of oil. There we go. 71 grand already. Oh, that ain't bad. I mean, that's more than what we made already, and we still have another tanker full to go get. So let's see if we can fill up this tanker again. We got the Kenworth hooked up. There we go. Let's start filling that up. We got a couple thousand liters in there. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, you know what? I'm like, we got 70,000 bucks already off the sale. I'm really hoping um, this is going to be like 60,000, but I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. I was hoping close to be 150 grand, guys. I was really hoping to be close to that 150 bar. I don't think we're going to get there. Don't get me wrong. I'm okay with being wrong. If you could please prove me wrong. Let's empty this one out as well. Fill that on up. Uh, I am totally okay with that, but I just don't think we're going to be as profitable as I was hoping for. I think we're still doing okay, but um, yeah, we still have quite a bit to do here. There's quite a bit of work in order to get back to that million bucks. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go sell this all off. This truck is so fast. It's so fast. Look at this. Yeah, guys, I'm caught off a little. I'm caught off guard a little bit here. Diesels doesn't seem to be our main money maker from the crude oil. I thought for sure it would be, but to be honest, it seems like all the extra stuff is really um, where we're making our money. It seems like that's where the money is, and I thought for sure it was going to be the diesel. Just saying, I had higher. I had high expectations. The diesel was going to be where we were going to make all our money. But let's see what we got out of this thing. Let's unload it all. You know what? Another 40 grand in the bank. Man, yeah, not quite as much as I thought it would be, like I said. So in total, we're like a little 110, 120,000 max. So you look at our rate of return, it's going to take us uh, about 10 months. Maybe a little more. Actually, you know what? It'll be double that. It'll be almost It'll be almost two years to get a million bucks out of this. That's not as fast as I was hoping, um, to be perfectly honest. it's Maybe it's not as... Maybe we're not not on the uh, the old gold train with the black gold that i thought we were going to be on man oh man i guess uh guys i guess i'm stuck going back to hand i think i've got to go back to hand i don't have the money to do it and i think the grass is going to make us more uh in the long run well in the short run maybe not the long run but the short run for sure i'm a little disappointed i had i was hoping i didn't have to work anymore <laughs> so much for that. Yeah, guys, I guess I'm back to um, hand for the time being. The black gold is just not quite paying off enough yet. Uh, we've still got a lot of work ahead of doing. I mean, we're going to get a million bucks a year, possibly from hand. I just got to get back out here in the uh, the swathers, I guess, and get back to work. Ugh. So, guys, thanks for watching today. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new, drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe, because that's the best way to help out the channel around here. If you're new and um, channel members, cheers to you guys. Appreciate you. Guys, I was really thought I really thought that we'd be making some huge amounts of money with the uh, with the crude oil. I am kind of surprised. I mean, we only got the six, but still, we spent a million bucks, and uh, yeah, I think we would have been better off doing a lot of other things right now. Oh, well, guys, we're out here on the frontier again, um, realizing that oil isn't going to quite make us the money. But maybe there's like a reason people don't farm out beyond the wall. Just saying, Gertie seems to be losing her mind a little bit. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on back there, but things are happening. Hey, you figured it out. Good job. Yo, guys, we are back to our, well, grass kind of farm. Oh, man. You know what? Like, the, the oil's still there. We got oil derricks off in the distance. But for now, I'm I'm just trying to, you know what? We can hay. We can make some money with the hay. It's always a great day for hay. Well, back to Chorin. So guys, the oil didn't turn out to be the get-rich-quick scheme that I uh, kind of envisioned it would be. I mean, you look at the oil derricks we got back there and the refineries we've set up. Now, we do have... we could grow this operation, don't get me wrong, but for right now, it's just not quite enough. It's not quite enough, so, well, we're, we're, back, in the, we're back in the fields. Working our fields again. So guys, in the past, we have just been making money off this field by simply bailing the grass. You guys might have remembered that. Um, yeah, it did okay. Like, we were able to make some money doing it. But today, I think I've got a plan to make things different and better. Because i got a plan to make our grass worth way more money. Way more money from grass. So I'll tell you what, let me finish um, getting through this field. Shouldn't take us too, too much longer with the two of us out here working away. And um, once we get that done, I'll be able to tell you a little bit what, what my plan is for the day at least. I've got a plan, guys. i got a plan, and I think it's going to help us do better. At least with the grass, the hay department? The it's actually going to be hay. It's not, I'm giving you a pointer. It's not going to be hay. 
giving you tips. It's not going to be hay. We'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Come on, Gertie. Let's go. Get the hammer down on that challenger. Let's go. The grass that we've been cutting here on this field is not going to get us to the $10 million goal we set for ourselves. $10 million! And that oil over there as well, the oil production, it's not going to do it either. Um, We need more. We need more of everything. So I bought more of everything. No, I, just, I, did, I bought some more equipment. You guys knew that was going to happen, right? We bought some more equipment. And um, it's going to help us with the grass. And how are we going to make more money with the grass, you figure? Well... Not just with grass anymore. Yeah, we built a fermenting silo so that we can, uh, well, get a better price for our grass. Seems like a good plan, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it now? So guys, we're not going to stop producing all of our oil byproducts. That's still going to be in production, but we're also going to get to work with um, maybe making some silage as well, because I know the silage does make us decent money. We'll see where we go from there, and hopefully we can take all of that and maybe buy some more land, like... The, the turn it green. Uh, you don't. Want, you still want to turn this whole place green at some point, but we need more money first. Uh, we did, just did right now. It's not going to happen. I'm broke. I'm broke again. So let's fire up the itty bitty Ford. Get back out of the field. Let's see if we can rake these uh, into some better rows, and we'll see if we can pick this all up and get it fermenting. Let's go. This insanity is so logical. All right, guys. So this little Ford. Yep, it does have the horsepower required to pull this massive rake, but. Um, the traction could be a bit of an issue. I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now this is a center a center swath rake, of course. So we'll see how I'm going to work with that. I was hoping to like be able to put it all into one. To be honest with you, um, my my plan right now is to use that massive new Holland, which I'll show you guys a little later on, to uh, to pick up all the grass and put it into the uh, the dump bed we have on the back of our our semi truck there. That is my plan right now. Now things can change. But right now, that's my plan. We'll see if that works. Oh boy, look at the size of this thing. All right, let's fire it on up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, this thing is, uh, it, it's got some size to it for sure. All right, so you know what? Maybe I'll be, I can grab actually a few paths here. So this will make our lives a little bit easier when we go to pick it all up, right? Look at that. That is amazing, that's awesome. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> so with our giant, giant freaking rake, I'm going to try and bring a little bit more of it. Center, I might as well try to pack it all together if I can a little bit, right? Um, you know, the Ford's handling it okay, guys, but to be honest with you, the bigger problem I'm having is like every time we go down a hill of any kind, the, uh, the rake actually picks up the back end of the Ford and um, it becomes a little bit more difficult to maneuver. Let's go with that. Uh, yeah, like impossible to maneuver. Let's go with that. Now, to be fair. Well, to be fair. Well, don't say to be fair. Hate when people say to be fair. Oh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. 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 I don't even really need to rake, do I? I could just go around and pick it up if I want to. I'm trying to make life simpler for me, but this is actually making life more difficult. Unfortunately, with my $15,000, I spent $450,000 already on all this equipment. I don't have any money for a new tractor. I should have maybe thought of that, but um, yeah, next time. There's always next time. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, straighten her out, straighten her out. There we go. See, it's just, it lifts the whole back end of the tractor up. It's not my fault. That's not my fault. I just don't, I need, I need to put on a few pounds. That's all. I'll get the weight down. <laughs> all right. That might have been the easier part, to be honest, guys. That I made a mess. I, I think I made a mess. I think I made it worse than it was. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Whatever. There's lots of grass, at least. We'll get, you know what? The amount of silage we're going to get off this should be decent, I believe. Uh, I, I know we got, like, it was $100,000 in bales. Or no, it was $500,000. No, it was $100,000, wasn't it? Per, per harvest. And we could do that multiple times a year. So it, was, it worked out pretty well. But, Oh, let me put this over here out of the way. Um, what are we going to get when we're doing it this way? I, I, this could be quite a bit. Yeah, we'll um, we'll see how we do here. We got Gertie working around behind us. 
This uh, New Holland's interesting, this track version, because when I let off the accelerator, she... Like, I don't have to brake. I don't have to brake at all. She just comes to a direct stop. Uh, it's kind of um, a little bit interesting to drive, that's for sure. Oh, boy. Girl, you're going to have to be nice and close, but not too close. All right? How many times have you heard that before? All right, let's unfold it. Let's fire it on up. Um, hmm. What am I missing? Why is it not turning on? Oh, I think it's just the uh, the hydraulics I didn't have connected. That's that's all. Let's, let's try and turn it on again. There we go. Yeah, yeah, just don't worry about it. I just clutched it a little bit. Um, that, wait a minute. That's not a saying. Well, uh, that's not, let's not really go with that. All right. Let's drop this thing in. And uh, hopefully this can reach far enough. How's it looking? Uh, not looking. Oh, wait, wait, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it's, it'll be fine. 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 And it seems it goes through this grass pretty pretty darn good as well. Oh man, I do not like the accelerator though. It is um not it's not smooth. It it just takes off on you all of a sudden. Not a fan. Oh uh, yikes. Yeah, you have gotta be real gentle with that accelerator. It I am not not really happy with it to be honest. It's gonna take some getting used to now. I don't know if it's because we have the track version up here, if that's the problem. Uh, but guys, it's it's unpleasant to use it that way. That's for sure. Maybe just set the cruise control at a, at a reasonable rate, and um, just go from there. I guess. Like it does go. Holy, that's a, that's actually going through a lot of this grass. So, um, huh. Also, the uh, the turning radius on this New Holland is not great. It's um, I don't want to say it's garbage, but it's uh, it could be worse. It could be, it could be worse. I don't know how it could be much worse, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, as I come up on this corner up ahead on the left here, or straight ahead of us, that I don't think I can take that right-hand corner and get all of the grass, guys. I don't, I don't think I've got enough space to make the corner here. Let's just take her nice and easy, and we'll see how she does. Like I'm cranked right over there, and let's see how close I can get here. Crank it. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's just cool. It's, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Maybe I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Okay, okay, we're settling in. We're settling in. We're getting the... We're, we're just getting the feel for it right now. Things are looking good. Gertie's got the truck handled. We're just grabbing the grass. And we've got a lot of grass in there. Guys, it's, it's coming together. It's coming together. What do you guys think? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. A lot of grass. Yeah, it's so much grass. Uh, she doesn't even want to drive it back. I'm going to drive it back over to the, the new fermenting silo because there's so much of it in here. Um, 250,000. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of grass in here, guys. So like I said, this is going to be all fermented into silage, and that's where we're going to make our money. It, it's about to become silage, and that's going to be, hopefully, a decent payday. Uh, I have no idea how much this silo, this silo even holds, to be honest with you. I really hope it's a lot. Um, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, empty it all in there. There we go. We better make sure this thing's all fired up as well, actually. It's, uh... It's getting a lot of silo. It's getting a lot of grass to fire up right off the bat here. Okay, so we have run into a problem of sorts. The um, the fermenting silo only holds half a million, half a million liters of the core of corn of uh, grass, guys. So we've already filled it up completely. We've done two loads and we're full. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. So this is gonna be filled up pretty quickly here. It does work. The uh, it does ferment the silage pretty quick. So we could probably um have a truckload here within probably about an hour i'm gonna yes it's just gonna we're just gonna wait then that's all so um let me just finish loading this up what is going on why keep on getting bounced up like that let me finish this all off and uh i'll catch up with you guys in a sec here once we have a chance to sell some of our our silage off we'll see what kind of money we're starting to make all right so if we're down to fourteen thousand bucks not the best spot to be in but it could be worse all right so it's actually working out rather well now i did have to pay for a addition. We put an addition on our uh, fermenting silo so that we could actually put more stuff in it, guys. We were running out of space. It only holds 500,000 at a time. So we built in more silo space. It cost us a couple thousand bucks, just under 10, I believe it was. And so we have plenty of space now to store the grass that uh, we're getting right now and then move it into the fermenting silo when we get space. It, it's going to have to be a double move. A double move move! But I mean, other than that, this this New Holland started to work out pretty well now. You can see we're getting the majority of our grass as long as I'm steering correctly. And uh, yeah, Gertie's keeping up behind us. She's all over it right now. Things are working out perfect. This is fantastic. You know what? This is way faster than uh, the bales, the, the working with the bales we had. The problem we're running into, guys, we still need to find a better way to rake this up. Uh, hopefully, we can get, like, a better tractor. I think if we got, you know, a really big tractor, uh, maybe a quad tractor or something, I don't know. I need something huge 
I need something huge to deal with that rate. Because, well, if I could afford additive, I could put it in the new Holland. That would be nice, too, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not ideal that we have to uh, make a transfer between silos here. But it's better than the alternative of just losing it, right? And having to wait. So... Um, you know what? Whatever. It works. We can put grass and store it in that silo, move it over to the fermenting silo afterwards. It all works. It all works out just fine. All right. So that's the end of the field. For the I missed. A don't look forward. But I missed a little bit. But, you know, we got most of it. So we're end up with about, I don't know, um, what do we got? A half a million liters in the fermenter. We've got another million-ish over in the, 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 the storage silo, you guys. Oh, is there not any room in here? Did I just miss it? I think I, I, think I missed it. Let me just see if I can. There we go. So I should be able to fit the rest of this in here. I got 130,000, 134,000 to be exact in here. See if we can fit all this into the fermenter. It should be pretty close. Anything left over, we'll put into storage for the time being. But guys, that's the end of that harvest for the, the most part. Now, you can see I do have the grass over between the tracks here. I still need to uh, to trim at some point. I, I don't want to let it grow because it's, it's still growing season for that. It's not quite ready yet. It's close, but not quite. The only thing I got left now, guys, I got to start taking care of. Actually, you can see here if we walk over here. We're um, well, we're already starting to make more more by oil byproducts. We've got a couple barrels of well, we got some oil. We've got I don't even remember what what is it the kerosene motor oil. We've got everything starting to come out already. So we're just gonna keep on working this for the time being, and um, it, it's not making as much as I hoped, guys. We'll see how the grass does once it's turned into silage, which will take a couple months here, I guess. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back in. It's been about a month actually we've been running through fermenting uh, all our silage all that grass we've been picking up turning it all into silage and um things have been happening it's looking pretty good over there you know the oil i really expected this oil all these oil derricks we put up to be like easy money i expected this to be the easiest money ever and you know it has worked out we have made you know half a million bucks over the course of you know half a year in fact guys i've got quite a bit of product uh ready to be sold off here that we've been producing over the last little bit so that is definitely still making us you know it's making us some decent money and really not costing us all that much other than production costs so that's a good thing but today we're going to definitely definitely find out if the silage we've made is if it's going to be better off now we do have a massive field behind me as you can see we have to hard we had to harvest it's um well another couple of days it'll be ready to harvest again another couple months i guess and we'll be able to do this all over again so it is renewable in that sense but we'll see how much money we made off of just the once. Uh, I've got over a million liters of silage to go sell off. Let's go see what kind of money we're going to make. Now, guys, I've got, like I said, over a million liters in there. Um, ideally, I would hold on to all this until it was better prices. I don't think right now is the best prices to sell everything off. But I'm broke. Um, literally, no money at all anymore because of our production costs for everything we're running right now are getting pretty extravagant. No train, no train, no train, no train. And to be honest, I want to buy some more things. Uh, look at the uh, the grass here, the grass here over here. We're going to get more grass next time, actually, because we got more over here now. So we'll see what we make from this. And then, you know, if, if, if it looks as good as I think it's going to be, we'll iron out the bugs of uh, the production process for us to do this. Like I guess we need to figure out a better raking technique, I think uh maybe we'll see if we can find a better way to store our ground i don't know it's not bad but we'll see but i mean guys it's this could i mean with the amount we have here oh get out of my way uh we'll see how much money we make I, I, i've got really high hopes right now let's go sell this off oh boy oh boy oh boy not the train not the train not again get off the tracks <laughs> oh boy it's all oh, that's that's happened a few times to me, hasn't it? There's one, like, wild sheep out here. Uh, maybe they should, I don't know if they have them in a pen. I just saw them back there. It's the first time I've... Uh, hang on a second, hang on a second. I gotta see what's going on here now. Oh, they got a couple. I didn't... I've never seen the sheep out wandering. There's baby sheeps out here, too. Huh. I've never seen them out here when... I've been here quite a bit. Really? Have these guys been here the whole time? Oh, and then I realize all they want is bales here. They don't want my, my raw silage. Come on! <laughs> I thought they'd take it here for sure. All right, we got to go to the animal dealer. It's uh, a little bit further out of the county here. Come on, just through the fence, through the fence. Yeah, we're through. Ooh, good, tight fit. Yeah, it's just down this way, a bit further. A little bit further drive. There we go. That's that's better. All right, let's sell it off right here and uh, get back out of debt. Oh, boy. I don't like seeing that minus up there, but oh, look, it's gone. Oh, boy. We're going to make some money here, guys. All right, 120000 harvest income from one load i've got a bunch to make let's go make some cash all 
All right, so that is... Oh, boy. Um, guys, that's... This is it. So, 500... We got our half a million bucks back. It's been trucking all night, but we got our half a million... I still have a little bit left silage to ferment, but it's for the most part, it's empty. We made a half a million dollars off of the silage. So, silage or, or oil? I think... Uh, I don't know. I mean, we made a little bit more. We could do silage more. I think I think overall it's faster. Huh. I didn't know that was going to happen. Interesting. So, silage may be more profitable for us, guys. Uh, but I think we're going to stay with the, the oil game as well. Now, as much as uh, I like the silage, the oil is just a little bit easier at times. So, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll do both. We'll do both. But who would have thunk it? Is silage better than oil? I, I guess maybe it is. Who, who would have thought? Well, guys, a year has passed out here at the frontier, and remember how I promised to greenify the valley? Take it all back? <laughs> well, it's happened. I bought some more land. I have bought a whole, we've got like a quarter section out here. We're, uh, we're, we're taking it all back. It's going to be, it's going to be fantabulous. I don't think that's a word. Been busy uh, taking down the hay. Uh, that's been pretty profitable. We've also made some money. Listen, listen, I've had to make some money in other ways, of course, as well. What do you guys expect from me? Come on, man. Don't get me wrong. The grass is green here. Well, there's a joke about being on the greener on the side. And don't worry about the jokes. For now, the grass does pay us decently. The hay's paying us decently. But, guys, that has nothing compared to the oil. Let's be honest. We're making, we're making good money off the oil. Yeah, I know. Some of you said we could just make it with the grass. But listen. Listen, we got plans. And the big plans are, well, right behind us here so far. That's worked out pretty well. Don't worry, we're still we're still being environmentally conscious. Hey, hey, speaking of environmentally conscious, uh, look what I found. Uh, it was in the used market. We got a case 9380 uh, Steiger. Did, did somebody say Steiger King? It was all part of Carol Baskin's plan. Also picked up the 475 speed tail with this bad boy to help us, well, clean up the big field over here that we've just recently purchased. Things are coming together. Come on, you know I've been begging for a new tractor for a while here. We finally... We finally got the, the cash together to be able to buy it along with some new land. Yeah, things are coming together. It's just, uh, yeah, we still got a little bit of work to do to get this all up and running. And um, we'll see what kind of money we make going forward here. But so far, guys, look at this. Look at this big quarter section we got now. This is fantastic. Guys, I was, I was really hoping we'd find another one of those mystery buried treasures out here. Uh, nothing on this side, unfortunately. This this new uh, sectional land. Uh, I, I did a quick look around. Nothing over here. But whatever. We'll plant some grass. We'll some hay here, and uh, we'll get we'll get back to hay. And it's it's another like a third of sectional land. It's like another third of the field that we had. So just just do the math on that. On how much money we're gonna make, it's gonna be uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty profitable. So what's our plan going forward? I'm sure you're asking. Don't worry, it hasn't changed all that much. Of course, we're taking over this land, and we're going to like I said, make it better. But I think. Guys, I think there's going to be more in store for some of that black gold, let's be honest. Yeah, that black gold's looking pretty good right now. So let me uh, get this done. We'll grab the uh, we'll grab the planter and get back in here. Give me, um, give me a couple minutes. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, let's just uh, leave this right about here. Perfect. And hook back up to our, our case planter. There we go. That's going to make life a little bit easier now that we've got the, the Steiger, of course, the quad track, guys. So much easier to pull this thing around. Now, I've already bought some grass. It's over in the warehouse here, ready to go. Some seed, I should say, and fertilizer. If we need, I think we will, actually. I'm uh, not going to worry about it too much. We'll do a couple uh, rounds, see how we may do with the planting here. But, guys, this is, uh, yeah, it's going to work out pretty good. It's a lot, I mean, this is still only the third tractor we have. We only had the little John Deere, the little Ford. Now we've got this case, which, I mean, I've got kind of bare bones as far as uh, tractors go here, guys. I haven't spent a lot of cash, of course, but uh, you know what? This is going to work out pretty darn good. I mean, pulling this thing with that little Ford was a bit, uh, a little overkill, <laughs> to say the least. At least with the Steiger, yeah, we're not going to have any issues now. We got like 600 horsepower with that thing. Still in pretty good shape. Uh, let's get this thing in the field. Let's get this planting done so we can come up with another plan here for some new ways to make some money. All right, so once we get this done, guys, I think, you know what? It's time to go back and take a look at our oil options here because I think, um, you know what? The, the haze looks good. We're making the valley look nice, of course. But I think the oil is really where it's going to be at. So I'm going to go back and see if I can wear options. We've got 600 grand. Of course, we can go haying right away and uh, make another probably, oh, $400,000, $500,000 potentially. But 
Yeah, I think we need to take a look at um, some of that black gold. We'll take a look and see what our options are there. One more pass, and I'll meet you back at the farm. So I've been looking at all these pump jacks here. I mean, across the street, you guys see all the pump jacks. Um, this is like a small portion. There's a bunch over that hillside. There's a big refinery over there. Guys, it's just, I know there's lots of oil here. I just know there's tons of oil. And we can, we can do better than this. We can do better. The problem I'm really having with this is just the transporting side of things, to be honest, because it, it comes out in barrels. We, we have to store it in these old rusty barrels. And while well, you guys saw us shipping it over there, it's kind of a pain, to be honest. I really don't want to do that. I want it, I want to do it. I want to, I want to go in bulk, guys. We want to go in bulk and make things look a little cleaner around here. So give me about a month. We'll see where we're at. I've got 600 grand right now in the bank account. I've got a plan and maybe we can really push this stuff and make it you know look a little bit better as well as um make us some more money while we're at it all right october is here and things are about to get crazy interesting i'm telling you guys we're it's either going to make or break us i spent i spent everything um we're down to 26 grand but you might notice there's some stuff over on the uh, far end of the farm here now of course we picked up this trailer uh not too long ago about a year ago i guess or when we first started moving the crude oil around. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be coming in useful now because we're, instead of, well, let me just show you what I was talking about because I was kind of complaining about these pump jacks, right? I mean, in order to get the oil out of these pump jacks, we need these old rusty bales, barrels we have to make. And they only hold 500 liters each. It's not great. These things look ugly. I mean, you got all the environmentalists out here coming after us. Oh, dare you! I want to try and get rid of these because I kind of want to move on to that. I mean, nobody, nobody knows what those are, right? It just looks like some buildings out on your farm. Big buildings, but they just look like built. And you know what? They make a lot more oil. Uh, and I mean, well, who says fracking's bad, right? We could just go in, do some directional drilling, do some fracking, get all sorts of oil out of the ground with these things, which is perfect for us filling up all of our uh, our distribution centers and our refineries. Let's uh, see if we can fill this tanker up. So now, yeah, not cheap at all. I mean, we're well over half a million dollars, like six hundred thousand dollars for these three pumped houses, but. But, and there's a big but. Think about how much money I have the potential of making right now. I mean, it's really limitless in a sense. Um, who needs hay when we can we can do oil? Oh wait, I, I promised I was going to greenify the valley, didn't I? Um, what do I do about that? So I guess the question really is, how much of this can I refine and how quickly can we do it? I got 40,000 just here. I still have... Probably ha only half of it so far. I bet we have closer to 60 or 70,000 liters. Um, let's go dump these into our refineries here and uh, see how we make do. Like I said, this is a multi-purpose trailer. It does diesel and it does crude oil. We just, you know, you gotta, gotta scrub it out beforehand, that's all. All right, so um, yeah, this is producing a lot more crude than we were dealing with before, guys. I mean, this is gonna be full in a second. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit the whole tanker in this one. We've already filled up the other side over here, the uh, larger this refinery over here it's um it's producing way more crude oil than i know what to do with to be perfectly honest i mean i know that's a good problem to have isn't it a totally good problem to have but uh that being said i want to be able to maximize it. i'm just gonna be sitting on crude oil here in a second if i don't be kind of find a way to, to maximize this so um you know what let's go sell some stuff off and uh, see if how much money i can make off what we've got right now i do need to we bottlenecked ourselves here at the refinery it looks like yeah, refinery is definitely a bottleneck. All right, we've got kerosene, we got oil, we've got the paraffin. I, I can't remember what it is. We got all this stuff loaded up, ready to go. Um, this trailer we found as well, guys, is uh, pretty decent for, for for loading pallets up. I have to admit. Um, look at all the pallets we got here. Let's go take all this off. Let's go sell this off. See where this gets us. I still got all the diesel, of course, to sell off as well. Guys, the crude oil, this could make us a pretty penny. Back through the main gates again. Let me through. Come on, guys. We don't have time to waste here. Come on. Easy, just easy. Just, just nice and easy. Thank you. Perfect. No customs checks today. All right, let's sell all this off. We'll get these all unloaded and uh, hopefully make a little bit of more money to get us. You know what? Maybe we can upgrade that refinery system and see what we can do with that. Huge amount of money made just from that, guys. We're over like 130,000 bucks just from that. It was like, yeah, $130,000. Um, and look at the backup here, the traffic backup going through uh, customs here now. I guess we came through at the right time. <laughs> look at that. It, it, yeah, it's a little busy all of a sudden. Wow, we have like 30,000 liters of diesel still too. Let's load this thing up. Let's go make some profits off this. I don't even worry about the the, uh, the price of, of it right now. I'm just going to start selling it off as we get it because I think it's not going to make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. And plus, um, 
I want the money now. Okay, it wasn't quite 30. It was like 15,000, not even 14,000. Still, it's a decent amount. Get off my back. It's still a decent amount. Yeah, guys, we're kicking this into high gear. We are now producing so much more, um, well, just crude oil byproducts, I guess, and diesel for uh, for the town here. You know what? They're really going to start noticing us, I think. The fact that we're, you know what? The, the, the hay was a great business. We're still going to, you know what? We can use the profits to, to make the valley look better. Uh, I, we may not be using the crops that we plan on using, but the valley's going to start looking a heck of a lot better with all this money coming out into it, right? Yeah, guys, we've gone from like, oh, what, 20,000 bucks to 220,000 just in the course of what I'm on. So, um, just, I don't want to do math in my head here, but I mean, the 12 months in a year, like $200,000 out. What did I run into here? Oh, I'm, I'm through there. Come on, just force it. Force it through. Um, that's uh, a little over 2 million bucks, potentially. Uh, yeah, 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 2.5 mil. Guys, that's that's not bad, but if, what if we made it bigger? Can we make it bigger? Oh boy, well, welcome into uh, no November. We've we've done some stuff, guys. Things are working out pretty well for our new our business ventures. And you know what? The valley's looking great. L look at the fields. Look at this grass. Look at our hay fields coming in. We're greenifying the valley, like just like I promised. Um. What's that noise in the background, you ask? L listen, listen, listen. The, the, don't mind the construction and the industrial complex behind us. I mean, listen, guys, this has to get done. I mean, you want this? You gotta have this too, right? Oh, and I I, I might have built more. Um, But this refining complex is state of the art. This is, it's got all of the, the best scrubbers. I mean, I know the best engineers and I know how to take care of this stuff, guys. Let's, let's just... Leave it alone, all right? This is this is helping us create well this, right? See, it's it all comes it's hand in hand. It works hand in hand. Don't don't you worry about a thing. Let's um we'll just quickly show you around because quite honestly, you guys, um, the amount of crude oil we're pulling out of the ground with our brand new pumps here, um, it's it's going to well it's going to break me to be honest with you. Um, we're gonna have to put up some pipes to go between our refineries and our these oil pumps. Um, we only have the three here but they create an incredible amount <laughs> incredible amount of crude oil to say the least yeah so between these over like a 12 hour or like a, a half a month period we're making what is it uh, twenty-five thousand liters of crude oil yeah that, that's gonna last us quite a while over these refineries um we're gonna fill the refineries up but guys this is making us some good money i think now at least our new refinery here guys this thing yeah it it holds a ton more crude oil at least so that's a benefit, but like you can see, um, I've got a full tanker trailer of crude oil going into this thing. We're gonna fill this up as much as we can. And of course, now that we've restocked uh, both of oh, all three of our refineries, uh, what kind of money can we expect to get out of this per month? I mean, there's a decent amount of products here. We might as well load as many as we can up, sell it all off once again. Of course, we have the diesel we gotta fill as well, but uh, it should, should give us a bit of a better idea. I think we were might have been over overestimating what we had before let's go sell this stuff off and see what we end up with all right guys i might have been a little over optimistic on the two million dollars per month mark but i mean we're still i mean we're a little over two hundred thousand uh per per month a little under two hundred thousand maybe hundred and fifty thousand a month okay so that's still like 101.7 1.6 million a year hmm yeah. Uh, well, you know what? It's okay. We'll still find a way to make some money off it. Maybe we need more oil production. I think that's going to be the plan. And that'll help us plant more environmental stuff, right? The more oil we pull out, the more environmentally conscious we can be. You guys think that'll work? I think we should... I think we'll, uh, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're trying, We're trying to expand the valley and uh, make it... Well, finally greenifying... Well, at least our side of the valley. Is this really a valley? I don't, I guess it's not really a valley, is it? This is what a valley looks like, huh? Guys, I've, I've finally got, well, the town council here convinced to open up some other laneways into the city, but it came at a bit of a cost. So as some of you know, we've been shipping off, we've been shipping off all of our product through the main town uh, the town gates there and having to go it's been a pain it's been an absolute pain in the keister but now we've got new roadways that have been opened back up for us and they've promised if i greenify if i go with my original what i promised originally if those dgens will let me do what i want to do <laughs> well they will eventually get to it i mean if I greenify this valley guys they're gonna open up and knock the walls all down for me they have promised like i said to 
make it open. Like, we want to knock these walls down all the way around eventually is the plan. But uh, I had to make a deal that is... I had to follow through on my end of the bargain. And that's while well, taking this land and turning it all green before they're going to do it. Those degens kind of have me... Um, well, they're making me stick to my word. What can I say? Well, we're making so much money from uh, the uh, the hidden, not so hidden oil production plant back there. Uh, you know what? It, it's going to work out in the long run. I just had to spend another million dollars on, well, land and equipment and seed and everything else to get this. This better be worth it. it. It will be. It will be in the long run. Let me get this done, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, part one done. I'm going to see if I can get this planted tonight. It's four o'clock already. I know. The big field, but I don't really feel like planting next month. The sooner I can get this done, the sooner we can get the degens to take down the wall. And um, it'll be easier for us for shipping, and it just looks nicer. It just looks nicer. It just looks nicer. Let's get this, uh, let's get the disc we put away here, and can I just sneak it in beside the truck? And eventually we can make this farm um, look a little bit nicer than it is. I mean, it's not that it's not looking bad, but I mean, it is looking... Well, it is looking eh, still meh, kind of meh. I mean, it could be worse somehow. I, I don't know how, but it still could be worse than this, right? All right, let's go hook up to the planter. Where's the toolbar for that? Where'd the toolbar go? Where is it? Found it. <laughs> it's just back here. Uh, I forgot we kind of disconnected. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, connect you back up. Get you connected and... Uh... Wait a minute. That doesn't look right. I'm sure it's fine. All right, so we're gonna start off. I'll just there's a bunch here by the tracks I haven't done yet. Hey, yeah, listen, I'm being I'm doing this properly. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chintz out on them. The the district wants me to plant everything on my side. Then I'll plant everything on my side. That's totally fine. We'll get some grass here and make it look nice and pretty. I don't have a problem with that. Now the big thing is though, guys, our our factory or manufacturing over here is making um, just a little bit of money. It, it's it's doing pretty pretty darn good. I I have to admit. And I'm looking forward to pursuing that a little bit further, but really some of the things we're, we're like I said, we're kind of having problems with guys is, um, well, quite honestly, the shipping, the shipping of, of everything is becoming, oh, well, we're going way too fast. Slow, 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 slow. It's becoming a little bit of an issue. So the, the closer we are, the better off we'll be for, for that. Uh, I need to figure out a couple other things, but so far, I mean, you take a look at that manufacturing plant back there, that looks pretty sweet. Oh boy. So, I mean, we're kind of getting there. It's a little bit desolate down on this side still, but once we get rid of this wall, I think it's going to open it right up and it's going to look so much better, you guys. I'm really looking forward to that. Now, of course, if you are newer on the channel, hey, you know what? I think maybe it's time you hit the subscribe button. You know it goes a long ways to help out the channel. And uh, that's what I really appreciate about you guys. Um, and, you know, while you're down there, it slap that thumbs up as well, because, once again, that always helps out in other different ways. I don't know exactly which ones do more, but, you know what, if you haven't done either today, maybe it's time you do them both. So, guys, this is going to take me um, just a little bit of time to finish off. It's, you know, I mean, look at the size of this field. It, it, it's going to be dark by the time we get this done, but, you know what, next month we're going to start shipping stuff off. So, we'll see how that all goes. We've got a little bit of um, product from, well, that neck of the woods to start shipping off, and... Uh, we can make some more money and uh, see where we go from there. And then hopefully um, we can knock this wall down and make our farm look profitable. Because now, you know, we're going to change things up a little bit. It's no longer about selling farm products. It's maybe property value, right? Pro property value. Yeah, property value. I, I, it's going It's going to go great. I can just see it now. Oh, boy. Look at this, guys. Look at what we got. Everything is coming up green. In fact, well... I mean, it's looking good out here. I keep on calling it the valley. It's not really the valley, is it? No, the, the plains. The, the plains are starting to look pretty good. Uh, just ignore what's right, right beside us here. Don't don't pay attention to that. Don't worry about it. The rest of this is looking fantastic. In fact, they've been they've been happy enough. They've started knocking down the wall a bit. And we've got some... Um, well, the, the gates have been torn apart, which is fantastic. So we're in the middle of setting up pipes from, well, our, our hidden... Her massive uh, oil derricks we have set up in these buildings here over to the refineries, which are just in beside, guys. Uh, these things are cranking out the oil faster than, well, I can move them, to be perfectly honest. But that's not necessarily the transport issue, of course, that I'm talking about. No, no, the, the problem is, well, all this stuff here. Um, like I said, we've got a lot of products to load up. Uh, let me start off with, this is the original 
large refinery. We're going to take everything we can from this place to start with. There we go. And you also may notice we've uh, gone down about 25... We cost us $25,000 um, a month right now in operating costs, which aren't too bad considering or making... But you can see we've got quite a bit just off our first factory. So let's head over to um, the second refinery just well right in front of us here. And this is what the trailer looks like fully loaded. That's his whole career, you know, driving that damn forklift. You Guys, to be honest with you, I've never been able to fully, like, to maximize. There's always room, it seems like, for another pallet of some some sort. Um, the loading is a little suspect, I have to admit, but we still manage to load it every single time. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here. There's, there's just a lot. Let's go sell all our products. This is everything from the last few months. This is crazy. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go sell this off. So now that you've seen that, you can understand why I would want to have a little bit of an easier road to go sell all this off, right? Like, it makes sense. And, well, you can see the reason why we do this. And there it is, right in front of us. We've been having them turn take down the gates. Like, you might remember beforehand, yeah, we had to go through the border. Nobody wants to go through the border. That is not the direction we're going to be going today. No, 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 no. See, now we've got a straight shot straight into town the walls are coming down and we're just gonna be able to straight, straight shoot right into uh into sell all this product off guys this is gonna make our life so much easier like look at this i mean yeah sure there's still a bit of a wall here but there's no there's no border check we don't have to declare anything we just go straight on in and it doesn't help that a lot of times we were um well running into issues when we load up the trailer this high going through the border getting you know what it would it would it was just an issue right you got to declare everything. Plus, I, I have no idea what's in here half the time. We're just kind of throwing all the pallets on the truck. What can I say? Wow, we're making so much money off this stuff, guys. This is ridiculous. It's kind of got me thinking, how much can we possibly make it? Like, we're not really paying attention to when we sell this stuff off. Three quarters of a million dollars we've pretty much made right here today. That is kind of crazy. And still, the best part is we didn't need to go through border control. But that is it for the uh, bulk product we do have. Well, not the bulk product, but the the uh, main product form. We do have diesel we can sell as well. So uh, we, we'll need to make another trip of that, I guess. So we'll see what kind of, uh, how much diesel we got. I don't know if we have too, too much to be honest with you guys. We've been kind of shipping this off a little bit quicker than the rest of that product. Oh, well, we still got 20,000 in this one. Guys, we only have four of the, four large oil, um, oil pumps, I guess, in those buildings. The, we have two large refineries. We got a medium refinery just on that sub side and a small refinery down there. And we are, well, having the trouble keeping up with the pumps. Those oil pumps pump out a tremendous amount of oil. I think I'm going to need to build another refinery. Unfortunately, they cost about a half million bucks. Well, I say unfortunately, we still make a lot of money. So really, eh, maybe it's worthwhile upgrading one more time. I don't know yet. We'll see what we get out of the diesel here, too. All right, and we're half full. Let's head into town and make another sale. See what kind of money we have for um, that sale. I said, guys, we're making so much money. Gotta watch over that train. You know, you know what's funny though? When we first built this farm, I kind of expected to ship everything by train. Like everything. I was planning on selling it all by train, using the train pretty much exclusively. Train? The train's a pain. I don't want it to be anything. To, I don't want nothing to do with the train anymore. Train is um it has ate my lunch more than on one occasion. So see you guys. You guys go that way. I'm gonna take the special clutch method of going through the wall. Alright, just back this right on in. Perfect. And um, let's see what we're uh, what we're gonna get paid for the old diesel. We don't have that much. We got twenty some thousand. It's still better than nothing. But compared to what we're making, selling off the rest of our product, guys, this is like a drop in the bucket. I mean, what eighty eight thousand dollars? That's it? Just eighty eight thousand? Just eighty eight thousand? Come on, I need more than that. Oh boy. I mean, look at the fields we've made out here, guys. Look at if anyone's doing their part at making the valley. I say the valley again. Look better. I mean, it's this guy. Look at this, by comparison to this. Seriously, I mean, we've got this. We have got this. They've got this. Now, that being said, how come we didn't get an Oasis? I, I kind of wanted an Oasis. I'm a little jealous. Anyways, I mean, we're making really good money from our, our, little, our little tiny oil refinery factory extraction business here. Um, I'm not too concerned. I mean... I, th I know they've agreed they're going to knock the walls down, guys, because of us. And this property value here is going to skyrocket because of that. I mean, the town is based around us. We have a lot of farmland that's based right around town. This could make us millions and millions. So we'll see how that all works out the next month or two, maybe a couple of months. 
We'll see if we can push these oil pumps into high gear and uh, make a little bit more money. And we'll see what happens to these walls. I can't wait to get these things knocked down. All right, guys, it's been about a year. The wall is... She gone. The wall is gone. Well, they, they took down the side of our wall, at least, which is perfect. And, you know, means our property value is really going to increase because now they can start um, expanding the city out onto our land at some point. I mean, they can start annexing our stuff. But also, um, we've expanded a little bit. You guys see we're, we're making a decent amount of product from the oil. In fact, well, I'm spending about $30,000 a month in, well, operational costs, but... The diesel we're making alone is more than paying for that. I think it's around 70000 So you do the math on that, guys. It's like half a million bucks a year we're going to make just on the diesel, even including our operating costs. That doesn't include the rest of the stuff, though. So we're going to load all of our product for the last little bit here. We'll see how much we can get on this one flatbed. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. There's there's a lot. Holy, there's a lot. Um, this is just the paraffin, I think. Oh, it's the grease. I don't even know what this is. There's a lot of it, though. Oh, man. I guess that's, um... We're, we're maxed out. That's all she That's all she wrote. I'm gonna go sell all this off. So, we had 1.25 million to start with. We're gonna see how much money I can possibly make off this. It just... It, it, I don't know. This seems like, um... We're gonna make some serious money in just a little bit of work here. This seems like it's the new farming way for us, guys. Alright, so... About, what? 500, 600,000 bucks off of one trailer load. I don't think we'll get to the million dollars per load, but guys, I've got a lot of loads to make here. Um, let me load back up. I, I, I don't even know how much we have still, to be honest with you guys. We just have so much to go here. It's going to be a bit of a process. Oh no. Oh, I'm so stuck. No, I'm so stuck. Oh, uh, okay, good. That's not as bad as I was going to be. All right, guys, so things are good. I mean, we're at 3.4 or 2.4 million, uh, and I still haven't even touched a very large portion of this yet. So, um, I'm going to try to, uh, to help myself speed this up just, just a touch. Um, I guess, I guess we're full already on this trailer and there's still, <laughs> there's still stuff here. Uh, I forgot to mention also, yeah, I already loaded up a first trailer. We decided to buy more. We needed more, more trailers. So let's see what we can make of this. I'm determined to make a million bucks with one trailer load, guys. One, one trailer load, one million bucks determined right, we've got enough stuff on here right should be fine um oh please no trains this time please please okay good 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 let's just sneak across the tracks and um oh boy it's a good thing this is why we got the heavy haul <laughs> oh boy yeah this is the right truck for this at least but uh guys this is this better be a million bucks it's got to be like we're made, I, I think we've seen seven hundred thousand is our, our highest sell point the highest sell amount, so it's got to be pretty darn close to uh, over a million, right? You gotta think. Even if it's not the best selling time, it's got to be over. All right, let's just pull on in, dump all this off inside here, and um, yeah, come on, big money, big money. Hopefully, hopefully this. Oh no. Oh, I know what's going on. All right, we're no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna have to reposition though. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff gotta be sold off today, guys. Holy. Uh, and and there we have it, a million dollar trip, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't believe we just made a million bucks from one load. And there's still more left. I got so much to sell off. I still have more to sell off. And it's little... Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how much money we're going to make off this. But uh, it feels like we can um, just make money at will now, I swear. <laughs> so, guys, we're at 4.7 mil after we sold everything off now. Um, I, I, I just... I don't even... It's, it's, it's a lot of money. It's ridiculous. In fact, we're making... We made 3.5 million bucks this month. We're making $110,000 a month based on just the diesel and then three and a half million bucks roughly per year. So you do the math on that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money, you guys. I mean, it's uh, like four and a half million bucks a year is our new, um, our new budget. Four and a half million bucks a year. You know, I think we greenified the valley. So I think we're happy. We're making tons of money. I'm retiring. I'm done. I'm out of here. We're out of the frontier. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this today's video. We're going to end up the Frontier videos here. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, of course. And you know what? If you like this kind of a series, maybe um, click on our Western Wild series. Or maybe even our Cotton series on, I think it's Eastern Plants. Anyways, go check out those ones. Man, this is a lot of fun. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.